Yo! Yo, yo, yo! Everyone, what is good? Y'all ready? And there it is. Y'all ready for this? Oh my god! Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Two salt boxes in our midst. It is time, my friends. I was happy to get everyone here. And there it is. Everyone ready for the fun. If your volume is down, put it up. I'll blow out your ears. It'll be fine. It'll be great. It's time. We came prepared. It's the salt box, my friends. Four exhibition matches done online with the power of the beautiful online of Nintendo. And of course, slippy online is. melee. Let's, What's up, Quaz? Let's let's Yo, Quaz, you are you are in here. Quaz, how are you doing today, man? Not so bad yourself? Good, dude. I've heard yeah, amazing man. things. I think I uh, <laughs> Oh, here we go. What was that noise? What do you mean? <laughs> Pe Peanut, why do you always uh, sound like you have like a sock in your mouth when you talk, dude? I have a bit of a cold. I had chicken pad time, half asleep, and I'm about to win $250. It's great. It's a great day. This is you. It's a good thing we already closed it's the bets, baby! <laughs> oh, man. This, this, this key or whatever is mine. Whatever this is. I... So I, if, I hear some pre -dons. You give me CSGO keys. If you one win, key. I give you oh, one key. That's one. like two. Do you, it's like how much? You want more keys? Just you want multiple thing. keys? All right, one key, one key. It's one about key. the principle. Five keys. <laughs> five, okay. keys. Five, five keys. Five keys. Shake. Five, shake. Keys. Five, if, keys shake. five keys. Shake. And if I five. open, I'm gonna open a knife with one of your keys, and I'm gonna make like two thousand dollars. It's gonna be the worst. Thing so, in my life. so, hey, hey, so for everyone unaware who's just tuning in. Uh, not only is there the, the shit talk that Peanut has put on to Quaz, but Peanut and Last are in a feud right now, and they have bet each other keys for popular PC games based on who wins, with Last putting full faith into Quaz. I believe in, I believe in the Midwest Mac. I can't All right. believe you would do this to me. And I can't believe you got 3 0 by Death Spade. It's not <gasps> true. Oh! Not true. Okay, we need to talk about this. How is it's it that true. somebody I play regularly, we both have wins on Apollo Kage, but yet you can't beat his baby mama? That's <laughs> I beat Apollo Kage. That's my copium. <laughs> I have a win on him too. Nothing special. That's, that's, so, that's so high. So recently? Gentlemen! Like two years ago? Uh, I don't know how long it's been, but yeah, I've got a win on him. Hey, so wait, 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 wait. Who, who, who has. Overall, better results between Peanut and Quaz, though. Who? Oh, it's, I, oh, it's Peanut. Peanut. Peanut not, for like, sure. I didn't bring it up because it wasn't a question. <laughs> I'm just saying. Where's the? I'm just saying. How do you lose to someone I can just beat? Because I just down uh, tilt, they never my, and then you get punished. My, like, oh, this freaking pad tie is killing me right now. You say I, pad tie? <laughs> He's scared. Yeah. He's backing off. Why yeah, are you eating so. pad tie with peanuts when you have a cold before a match? I'm hungry. You don't He's hungry. It. No, you'll get it. Yeah, Quaz gets I, it. I should have bet on Quaz, dude. He's hungry. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, but I think, I don't, there's like, what? The, I have no Bayo experience at all. And I play Death Spade. He has all the, he's like, he's doing this weird, like, max specific stuff for me. I'm like, it's, it's Jover. It's Biden. Over. All right. Like, it's I, over. <laughs> the scoreboard. Thank you to the mods. Victor, the scoreboard is live. Peanut versus Quaz. I need Ooh. mods to run a, a five minute bet. When these two get into it right now, while they're getting right. in, I need yeah, to I see max bets on every match. Max bets. Chat. Oh, chat here we go. Side bet. Can I can I get two two keys so I win chat, please? <laughs> All right. Can we, this should start my gambling addiction. <laughs> she needs them for a new unboxing video coming up. It's gonna be really good. A new yeah. unboxing video. I, no, I, throw the video idea out the window. I just want, the, you, I just want to gamble. Feeding you content. Go with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Let's get the let's get the, get the game up. Here we go. Scoreboard up. There we go. Uh, H box. It's the text chat salt box match one. Uh, if you want to want to drop the arena. Uh yeah yeah. Oh, so there. How can you make a box made of salt? How does that work? Uh, it's confidence. actually pretty easy if you're not dog shit. Uh, dog, call me that. That's not my name. It's not. It's not who I am. I seen your birth certificate. It, <laughs> I signed so, so. Like, have you ever signed someone's social security card? Yes, no. I was at Battle for the South. That's insane. No, you weren't. You weren't there. That's insane. <laughs> okay. Like the number there just was, out in the. 
Yeah, yeah, there was a guy at Battle for the South who was walking around with like at his actual social security card with like notarized and the stamp on it and everything. No and was shot. asking all of us to sign it. So like me, Peanut, AK, uh, Lima, uh, like Step Anathema, like ring. everybody signed the social security card. It was insane. Oh my gosh, it was, uh, that it is was so funny. It was it was awesome. I was really worried though. I was like, is this okay? <laughs> I, I was I was the very first person to sign it. And like he came up to me, he was like, "Hey, can you sign my social security card?" I like I looked at him. And I went, "Are are you sure?" I would have been I did the so same thing. Just, like, just to be toxic, I would have like pulled my phone out, pretended to take a picture, just scream, "Got it!" and then run. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I was like, "Are uh, you good, man?" Gentlemen, it I am. So I am uh, posting the code in the chat. How many bets? Okay. How, uh, I want to make sure everyone got their bets in for hungry bucks. Holy uh, shit! What's up? There, there are. Three million hungry bucks down oh, on this already. Yeah. Oh, Wait, like, hold on. Let me pull this actual, up. Like actual dollars, I guess. Yeah, like actual, yeah, real money. Real yeah, dollars. exactly. No. Like yeah, the mafia is gonna million come million after you if you lose this. Dude, yes. I know. Nope, don't lose, dude. Just don't throw. What? You can't tell me what to do. I'm looking at the the big betters. They're all like people who are putting down two hundred. Wow. Oh yeah. my god. Alright. But this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Look at this. Holy disgusting amount of coin I've ever seen. Look how many points there are! Four million! Alright. Number go up! Peanut Peanut Quaz. Um I'm as promised, I'm giving you the option if you want hot mics during the set. If you want us to tune in between games, it's up to each of you guys. Peanut, what do you say? Mics on or off. Do you want to focus? Regardless of what it is, I'm just gonna be mumbling random stuff the entire time. Okay, Quaz, what do you think? I'm gonna I'm gonna say hot mics off for this one. I want this hot is our tiebreaker for Wi-Fi sets. Okay. So I'd like to take them on a serious. Uh, they're taking it seriously. We played this like two years ago. Hey, I'd still it's still the tiebreaker in my book, boy. This is, this is I'm just gonna I'm just pad ties. Oh my God. If you if you don't want to do hot mic, you can dip out of the call. Okay. Uh, that that'll be how we do this. H box okay. and I will stay. Bo in yeah, this both call, players. So well, what do you think? Should both players agree, or I guess one can just shit talk? I think they can do one or the other. That's true. I, I guess stay in, but you guys should actually just be hearing me mumble random shit the entire time. Peanut, <laughs> you literally sound how you look right now, dude. That's that's that's. Uh, you post this picture. Is this she you? Is, is this you right I now? Post, wait, let me. Are you live for this? Like in the car? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's just going it right now. It. Let me see it. That is. That is a humongoloid, right? If I've ever seen one. <laughs> humongoloid, baby. Humongoloid. Peter, you can't take that. You can't take that. Oh, he's right. Is it? Look, in the, look in the, look in the arena right now. Look in the arena. Oh, that's pretty humongoloid. That's pretty Bro, humongoloid. Bro, y'all are mean. That's pretty humongoloid. Y'all are mean. Get some humongoloids in the chat. Hey, uh, hey, everybody in chat, press humongoloid right now. <laughs> Everyone, there's almost, there's almost ten. <laughs> there's eight. No, nine million <laughs> points on this game. The entire so economy. Holy crap. Well, everyone, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay. Here we go. There's so many humongoloids in chat. All right. So many. Why is he great? No, don't wait, start wait, yet. Wait, wait, guys, don't start. Don't <laughs> start. Right, right, we'll go back. 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 <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a button check. It's a button so check. Crazy. I know how much you guys. It's a button check. If he starts to hit me, I'm going to freak out. Yeah, I'm freaking out. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to need you to even button check. Just bring, bring us back in so we're, we're good to go. This is... The salt box, too, my friends. Good luck to these players. They can choose to have hot mics on or off. Kirash, welcome to the call as well. Uh, Probably JV Ford, me. I'll be casting. I'll be casting the first match with um, with last. But of course, if there's any volunteer casters you guys want to hear for the next sets, that's going to be, of course, Chunkakia, uh, Cody Schwab Zane, and MK Zamba. Please request it in the chat and see if they're here. I basically have an open yeah. call for them. I'm it's a all. It's not paid, it's all volunteer, but if they want to do it, it's up to them. Yeah, I'm going to be real. I got like 17 DMs as soon as you said that. I'm not looking at all of those, so we'll do it this way instead. Oh, okay, well, you got to look at some. I mean, I, I'm looking at a couple of them. Okay, I, okay. I think I want to co uh, to cast Leo Zombo because we'll do a quad cast for that one. Those people yeah, we'll do, we'll do a quad for cast for that amount of time. All right, everyone, press one for the run. Peanut versus Quaz, Salt Box 2. Let's get it, boys. I've been waiting for this one. This is going to be a good one. Yeah. Oh, I'm so okay. ready. All right. So 
First off, off the bat, uh, Golden Mac is Peanut because uh, like he's a little piss boy or something. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you're you're, you're off to a great start. Okay, baby. Oh, okay, two baby. big hits. You're you're really okay, digging. In, you're you're really digging into him every single time. Okay. Wait for it. Smash out a shield from Pia. Anybody can do that. Literally anybody can anybody do that. Got KO. Yeah, yeah. Anybody can do that. Oh, Ceiling close! Light, nobody can do that. Nobody can hit up top. No, no, one, no, one, no one hits those, bro. Peanut, you might want to focus on the match, dude. It's not looking good so far. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it's okay. <gasps> you're exaggerating. KO punch. Hold on. Also, uh, it's 5.37 p.m. Prediction contest is closed. I hit harder than that, to be honest. Okay. Uh, just kidding. Oh my god, Quaz! Uh, I don't know, he's hitting you pretty damn hard, Peanut! Okay, he entered back. Nice. Okay, punch again. He tries to aerial with Matt. You, like, dumb? Oh my god. Last, I'm gonna need some- I'm gonna need some- anybody can hit up tilt up it's true. Last, I know you put a- I know you put a bet on this, but I do need a little bit of- A, a little bit of unbiased commentary, just a little bit. All right, all right. We'll, we'll go into into real caster mode. Okay. Ooh. Let's the F smash rip quads off stage, but both of these guys have a pretty strong mastery over Max recovery. Maybe not the best mastery it's over like, Max's ledge game, though. It's pretty, it's pretty cursed, to be honest. Let's say Azar, thank you. Okay, Peanut bringing it back 1% apart. How did he get hit by a fully charged up smash? Just like that. Okay. All right, Quaz trying to take this lead back, even though he's down by 14, and Peanut connects with the monstrous counter. This looks like it might be over pretty soon, but Quaz is able to parry and roll out of dodge. Oh! Ledge, and a down smash could oh! have oh! him. Oh! oh! Yeah. oh! <laughs> reversals off stage after Peanut tries to attempt the KO punch to recover. What a good spike. It a lucky two frame. Damn. Everybody gets one. That's how Pause takes game one, and I'm that much closer to my CS:GO knife. He gets his CS:GO knife, yeah. That's that's the that's the real bet behind this is the CS:GO knife. I'm gonna make more money than all of the competitors. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put on after this match. I'm gonna put on in-game audio. Uh, the Matic, thank you. Uh, this is the first set. The others have not yet played out. So we're going into game two. And run it back to small battlefield. Quaz gets a quick double dash attack. Looks for the down smash on ledge, but Peanut's able to grab on. Still hasn't been able to get a hit in quite yet. As Quaz gets the platform reset down tilt side B. Looks for a chase up onto the platform, but Peanut finally gets a hand into this game. Okay. Now goes for the same, but these nares out of disadvantage from Quaz have been fantastic so far. Both KO punches. Peanut deep out. And yes, ads do autoplay, cope, sieve, they're automatic. All oh! Right. Okay. That's what gonna be doing. Mr. Quaz finds that sliding F tilt on him to take the first stock once again. Oh, wait, one, one, one more second. Guys, it's a best of five, you'll live. Or first of five, you'll live. Tilt puts Quaz deep off stage again, and the drop down counter, a big bane of Max existence off stage. Doesn't have many options to recover back to the stage that are active hitboxes, so characters like Mac that can drop down and put those counters out do a very good job of edge guarding him. Not like you need all that many tools to edge guard Mac in the first place. That's gonna be a rising up B though. That's a lot of damage off of one singular platform interaction for Peanut. Looks for the tech chase. Not gonna find it. And now it's Peanut. Ooh, up angled F smash. Killer. Right to the jaw. Okay. Up smash again. Ooh. Yeah, okay, see, I, I, you can already tell when it, when when they when they stop talking that shit's getting real. You know what I mean? H box, you ever watch like actual boxing? I do. Yeah, it's very entertaining. So, what do you think that the fighters should do when they get thrown into the void off stage? <laughs> oh! Okay, a five-three prediction so far is holding strong. No one else grabs like that. Damn. I'm the only one. Peanut's saying yeah. no one grabs like me. What about that grab is so special, Peanut? 
No one else uses it. No one. <laughs> no one uses. <laughs> Wait, what do you think of Lil Mike? Do you think grab? No. The hell grab? I only think super armor. It's more. One yeah. one. To be fair, Quaz does use like a lot more to his credit. Peanut is Quaz like, gonna win this right. game. That's up to you. It's, it's up to me. What, I'm not. I'm not pulling the strings. Except for this chicken oh. pad tie. Peanut, uh, you're not supposed to tell them that this is scripted. That was in your contract. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Be careful with that, bud. Oh, he's gotta be careful oh. of this reset because Peanut goes for a little bit too much, and Quaz is able to fire back with a whole lot of damage. Oh my God! Look at him go! Look at him go! Oh, yeah, that's baby! A, that's a classic from Tyson versus Holyfield. Damn! Uh, you know, just downbeat. Nice guy. Doing it again. Okay. Actually, about as even as you can call it right now. And they're going only small battlefield. Ooh! Counter attack. There it is. DJ, thank you. Air dodging high, very smart. A lot of Max will just kind of swing in that situation with side B. Not gonna matter all that much though, as Peanut's only able to get one more hit in before Quaz puts an end to that stock. And he looks for a fully charged F smash on Peanut getting a little bit too aggressive, but he's a little bit smarter than that. Wants Not much one. smarter, but he's a little bit smarter than that. Okay. Hail punch. Ooh. Uh, Alex to not use it. Don't think it was true oh! at that angle at that percent. And Quaz is actually going to be able to close out the stock without the KO punch. So now Peanut's got to worry about it, but well, not for much longer. There's one more hit. The timer was up. He's able to close it out there. A beautiful haymaker. Uh, hello, Quaz. Quaz doing uh, he's it. He's behind you. Up oh, again. Jab, jab, up B to get Quaz to catching, catching Quaz rather, dropping shield. Very smart from Peanut. And this is about as even as a game three could get HBox, but Quaz says, Damn! Even. Oh! oh my god, we have the second down smash. Rita would have been fine, but it's last stock here. Who takes the set lead here? Even percents, down smash missing. Quaz has KO punch, and oh, he loses it. Punch and it's gone. Oh my god. Oh, Peanut had KO oh, punch, my bad. That could be devastating for Peanut here. Oh. He's got to recover it. Yeah, yep. Damn. Okay, my, my bet's looking good so far. Okay. Yours, oh. how are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good so far. I said Quaz 5-3 Peanut, right? Oh. You did say Quaz 5-3 Peanut. <laughs> I said Quaz 5-2 Peanut. Quaz 5-2. <laughs> so well, far, we're on track. Also, let me remind everyone of, of the bets. This has been over th 10 million Hungry Bucks bets on this. There's it, Almost all the bets are maxed out at 250 for Peanut, with 7.7 .7 million versus 2.7 million bets on these. It's two. like... It's like a lot of money. You could, like, maybe open a pet shop with that. Yeah. You really could. Oh, that was Maybe. interesting. Only the first and last of them up he connected there. I don't know why. I think it's just the way the animation plays. But Mac up B reminds me a lot of Bayonetta up B. Yeah, and, like, I can it, see it. It has none of the same properties. It just looks like it. Like it. I even like it. Uh, uh, last, someone in, in chat was asking who is Quaz. Do you want to fill him in on, on his quick lore? Where yeah, from? so uh, Quaz is a Midwestern player. I believe he's from Nebraska. I'm not actually 100% sure which Midwestern state, uh, but was generally regarded as one of, if not the best, Max in Ultimate for a long while. Yeah. Uh, and then Peanut came out of nowhere and started doing Peanut things. Quaz has also been inactive uh, for a lot of post-quarantine. He went to, like, Riptide right after it, but not much else, so... Kind of coming, out of, the, the, kind of coming uh, out of the woodwork. Nebraska. Uh, to, is, they're saying off. Nebraska, I believe. Okay, so I was right. I was right. Yeah, I was yeah. 100% sure. I like how you keep both flying for the same grab. Okay. Now uh, like keep getting hit by it. Has KO punch. And he... Oh! Uh, <laughs> tanks through it. Tanks through it. Just like that. And there's the up B. Even game again for game four. I knew it would be a... I knew it would be a hot match, and we are approaching 3,000 viewers already for just the first set. Ooh, 
goodness. Peanut goes for the F smash after the gentleman jab, but Claus is able to spot dodge before it connects the second one. Gets him though. The roll back gets him away from the down smash. Claus is able to fire back with a down tilt. Side B and a down smash on Peanut's get up puts him in an almost unrecoverable state. But the air dodge to ledge actually does it. He loses his KO punch though, and that might have been his ticket back into the game because now Quad has Quaz has full control over the stage. Yeah, oh. going to do it. Running in and down tilting in neutral, and he's saying F tilt out of shield. But I didn't know you could use that out of shield against Mac down tilt. Well, now you know. Pina, how are you feeling? You're down 3 1. I could just grab. <laughs> could just grab. I'm just saying, uh, Quaz um, elected to turn his mic off to focus. Pina, do you want to try that to focus, or you just you good still? It's like you're trying to buffer shield after I down tilt, but the shield doesn't come out sometimes. So it's either like a Wi Fi thing, or it's just something I didn't know about. I gotta put on that little Mac Mon. I hope it's not a Wi-Fi thing, so I could use it. All right, huh? last we're going to game five already. Game five, indeed. The set would have been over by now had this been a normal bracket set. Here at the Salt Box, I like to give people maybe a chance to get a little bit more adaptation in there. Peanut was just talking about didn't know that down tilt was punishable by F tilt out of shield. Maybe he could add that to his own repertoire, take that from his uh, his compatriot here. Up tilt, up B, not quite going to kill at this percent. So Quaz going to get an opportunity to fire back Ooh. now with KO Punch. Catches the early air dodge on reaction and Peanut goes down again. Damn. Quaz actually looking real comfy. I like that answer from Peanut, though. So good at finding up B out of shield. Okay. Yeah, chat is correct. This is the Wi-Fi tiebreaker. These two are, I don't think they've ever played offline, but they are tied in online sets. 1-1, one, so one, right? I think it's 1-1. One, one. I know they're tied for a fact. And whoever wins this gets to walk away, not just with the $250, not just with the pride of being the first salt box winner in a very long time, but also the pride of being at least the best Wi-Fi Mac Ditto player online. We'll, we'll just call it best Wi-Fi Mac. I don't care. We'll make, we'll make, we'll make, we'll make it saltier. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh KO punch lost. Into the up air. Quaz still has KO Punch at his disposal too. Peanut's got to be very careful, but he's able to take it away with a quick down tilt poke. Both of them very terrified of what the other has at their disposal. In shield and a Ooh. down tilt short hop up, he's not enough to close out the stock. Okay. Oh my god, that made no Bro, sense! Okay. Peanut Bro. found the, the somehow the winning position there. Off that double armor. Okay. Quaz maybe getting a little bit shaky there too as he goes for a, an up B that does not connect. Doesn't eat too much of a punish in the grand scheme of things for it. This is still very recoverable, but he's got to recover to stage first and Peanut's more than ready with that grab to stop him. Side B though, connects a little bit high. Peanut's positioning was just slightly off and it is so again as the KO punch misses and he eats a down smash. Robocop Quaz and Peanut answers back. We have a 3-2 set. Such a good battle so far. Yeah, and if Quaz now wins from this position, I'm right. <laughs> Damn. I mean, we'll I, see. I, call, I called 5-3 Quaz. You know, this, this is what you want to see, right? You, 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 Absolutely. You want to see that good stuff. You definitely don't want to blow out in a, in a set like this. That would be boring. By I do means. wonder if either one of them is going to uh, gonna, gonna attempt to swap up the stage. No, no, no. They're running it. No reason... They could. Obviously, but in, a, in a ditto, the, the characters do get the same advantages on stages, but certain players are more comfortable on certain stages. So it could really go either way if one of them is more comfortable on, say, Town and City. Who knows? But at least so far, they've definitely been more than content to just keep it going on small battlefield. Yep. And of course, the uh, the, the latency mod is completely allowed for this this exhibition. So lowers that online uh, variability a little bit. Little to make it more of a fair match. Neither of these guys are using it, but uh, in our other sets, I think yeah. people will be using it. They are, they are allowed. Okay. Uh, the order for the matches is on Twitter. Oh, what a call out from Peanut! Oh my uh, god. I'll give it up. That was a pretty humongoid call out. That was, that was uh, barbaric. And Quaz, oh, he was dead, tank. saved, and then killed. Peanut with the emotional roller coaster. Now up three stocks to one. Might be an even set. 
One of the most critical things about Little Mac, one small mistake costs you everything there. Quaz losing out as his jump early meant that even after the tech, he was still not able to make it back to stage. Though he is able to fire off with an up angled F smash to at least get that first stock off. Keeps away from a three stock. He once again just gets, does neutral get up on the ledge straight into Peanut's oh. grab. Gonna try and get that KO punch off with the triple jab. Ooh. Does it? And so too does the down smash. I don't know if he's oh. going to recover, especially not with the counter. I'm taking my jacket off. Three, three. So, I am now out of the running for perfect predictions. See you guys. Oh, we're still in it, boys. We're still in it. And just like that, after a three to one lead, Peanut evens it up. What do you think your, your major adaptations so far have been, Peanut? He's focused now. I oh, think he's, he's, he's locked in. I think they turn off Michael let me see. He's not muted in Discord, but he might have just turned off his actual win. mic. I was saying, if he wants to win, that's, that's the way. He put down the pad tie. He put down, yep, the noodles are down, the peanuts are up, and he's now a dead even set. Three games apiece, first to five. Cool. Quaz manages to swing back, even though he's a little bit down in percent. Oh, he had the nothing. read, too. Just a little bit too slow means that Peanut's wow. going to be able to get shield out in time. And not only does Peanut get shield out in time, he also gets the fire back for the first stock. Okay. Going to find a down tilt, which leads into that KO punch. Trying to copy a little bit of what Peanut had sauce-wise on the ledge, but not Ooh. able to get that reset. I love when characters are able to like hard counter themselves, you know what I mean? Like, Mac is Mac's worst enemy in a lot of these positions. Bro, it's like uh, Ganon wins no matchups, not even the Ganon matchup. Like, even that one's losing. Oh, that's what I mean. A oh. character so grounded has to be a, a very wary of that KO punch. Quaz. Oh! Okay, back to stage. Can they like infinite ladder each other like that? Dude, this is a huge momentum Ooh. swing back for Peanut. Quaz needs this game really hard. He gets that amazing read. I think no jump from Peanut. Yeah, burnt his jump in the first trip back to stage. So after the reset, means he's not going to be able to touch ground again until the next stock. Oh! What the? F what? <laughs> that being in oh! Smash Ultimate. Bro! Last 5-3 Quaz, my prediction is one game away from being perfect so far. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. The dream is so alive, HBox, you don't even know. Not only does he get hit by Peanuts Neutral B after he armors through the entirety of a rapid jab, but Quaz still has the wherewithal to do the jumping KO punch. Chat, someone please clip that gazelle punch and I'll put it on Twitter right now. I'm gonna put some tweets, clips all day to get everyone in here. Be like Sh Bishop, thank you. Oh my God. Quaz at set point here for $250 and the and title of best Wi-Fi Mac. Definitely taking that momentum swing right in stride. He gets off to a pretty nice lead early oh! on, but Peanut gets KO punch, gives it right back to Quaz, but doesn't even need it to close out this stock as it's another two frame down smash. That tilt sends him off stage. He's gotta find a way back on. Quaz though, next with the down smash on the roll read. Looking for it again. Right now. Ooh! Post that Ooh. on fresh cut. Oh, we're we're going to game. We're going to game nine, aren't we? We're going to game nine, aren't we? Hbox, my brother, it <laughs> certainly looks that way indeed as Peanut already <laughs> sends Quaz off stage with 59.4% in the blink of an eye. This up tilt up air is a reset a grab off of it too. Oh. Peanut is in his head. Dude. Not letting that momentum get to him at all. But finally, an up be out of shield from Quaz means the stock. Don't worry, hey, there's still that chance. There's this still is still that Mac. chance. If he this lands his KO punch. This oh. is no way. That's it. Oh my god, we're going to like game! Game nine for our first set of the night. Oh my God. 
And not only going to game nine HBox, but going to eight, game nine because causes F Smash Clank. He had Dude. the lead on Peanut, but Peanut just barely managing to avoid what might have been certain death on that second stock and firing back for the stock of his own. Chat, press one if you are enjoying the softbox right now. This is what you've been waiting for. I knew it would be a banger set. That's why I chose it. Almost 4,000 viewers in here already for our first set. Put a P for Peanut. Put a 1 for Peanut. A 2 for Quaz. Who wins this? I can't even call it at oh this point. My God. I don't know, HBox, and I think it's going to rely very heavily on who manages to take this first stock. Oh. Already off the bat, we're still neck and neck. Quaz finds a double dash attack to take away the lead, but a quick F tilt and a down smash from Peanut brings Quaz up to 49. Get up attack, though, is his tool of choice to get back on. And an up tilt, up air, potentially an up oh. B, no, cancels out. KO Quaz punch. KO punch. Oh. KO punch. And Quaz finds KO oh punch. My. They're both doing it. Okay, down tilt. Oh my lord. A rapid jab from Quaz is actually gonna catch Peanut on that getup attack. Sends him deep off stage and then gives Quaz the most beautiful opportunity for a two frame down tilt. F tilt finds last stock. Set. Point. Oh my. Salt box point, H box. Where does this go? Quaz! It potentially goes ah! to the grave. Ah! Peanut goes down. And Quaz wins the salt box set one with a three star. Oh! Quaz wins the first set five to four. Can we get a round of applause for that set? That was already a classic. My, I'm trying to up the clip to Twitter. It won't let me. It's just processing, but I don't care. Quaz. Wow. Hey, Quaz. How you feeling, bud? Uh, he's muted. He has no words. He's out of breath. Wait. <laughs> I screamed really loud. I'm seeing stars. <laughs> oh, is that it? Peanut, yeah. it was first to five. Oh, wait. Was that five? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I only counted four. I that was five, was five, Peanut. We counted. Okay, no, Peanut. No, no, that's not, that's not a, Peanut, that's that was. Gone. I just lost count. No, bro. That was, <laughs> again, a round of applause. I mean, that was, that was a hell of a set. That was nine games. Of the best Mac Ditto I think I've ever seen. Yeah, I didn't realize I was um I was game nine, that's my fault. I would have put a better a better fight at the end, but No no, it's all chill. good, dude. That was, fun. was a hell of a set, GG's man. Yeah, it's fun. That was that well, really I, was GG's. I, mean, I don't really I don't really have Johns or anything. Like that was that was just it is what it is. I didn't think okay. I would do that good, but I didn't think I would fun. either. I thought I'd I no. thought I'd get clean. <laughs> Stop being humble! Oh, you're right. I hate you. Uh, see me offline. I yeah, see me offline. Anyway. See me offline. Uh, All right. Sort of, can, <laughs> can someone send me another clip of that gazelle punch on game four? The other one yeah, isn't letting me upload to Twitter. Uh, I don't know why. Was I, was I up four at that or was that three? It was it was, it was uh, four three Quaz's favor, I believe. Or it no, was, it was, it was very back and forth. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize I was up four at that point. I thought it was only up three and it was like three three right then. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. But I didn't realize it was that close. Yeah, that's tough. Any any words? Is, any words, Quaz? If I can do this, anybody can. Yeah, I mean, I feel I'm strong, not, man. But I'm, I'm not unbeatable. I'm just a human being. Oh no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If if he can do this with Mac and I can do this with Mac, anybody can. Oh uh, yeah, it's not like. Uh, there's a lot of Mac players who just don't utilize everything that he could do. Yeah. Once I mean, learned, even even during that set, there was a, a moment where Peanut literally went, "Oh, I didn't know you could do that," and then started doing it and did better. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I just didn't. I didn't know Eptil was a true punish for down tilt. Yeah, no, it's, if it's not uh, spaced, yes, because you're, you were yeah, basically inside first, my shield. Yeah, the first, the first hit. Beat. Yeah, the first I kept hitting me and I was like, oh, because I thought you were going to upbeat, but I didn't know if it worked. So I was like, yeah. okay. I Play the ditto enough, you'll learn a tip thing or two. The most, yeah, I, yeah. I don't do that that much. The most impressive thing about all of this is that we are perfectly on schedule. Uh, 6 That's p.m. So Everyone, one more round of applause. Quaz and Peanut, congrats. Quaz, go Thank ahead you. and make sure to send uh, one of my moderators, your PayPal information and Coinbase will get you paid here. And of course, again, huge thank you to Coinbase and Team Liquid for putting this on. I always said that Smash needs more of these like hype salt exhibitions. So hopefully this starts a tradition all over again. How are we feeling last? I'm feeling fantastic. I, I know you heard me getting hype at the end of that set. I, I'm I kind of worried that Discord cut off the end of my uh, my call.
Uh, yeah, I gotta give you. I gotta give you five keys or something. Uh, you. Yeah, we'll we'll talk later. You don't actually have to. I was memeing. Oh, I was okay. I, All right. Matter to me either way. I am going to open one uh, case in your honor, though, and if I pull a knife, Heck. I'll flip out. All right. It's gonna be so funny. Hey, hey. hey I'm, right, I'm, I'm taking off. All right. All right. All right. See you, gentlemen. Thank you for thank you for the, the thank you for the opportunity. I hope the event goes well. All right. All right. All right. Congratulations again, Quaz. Thank you. So last, uh, I'm, I'm I'm reading uh, I'm reading that Arbiter and Laird want in on commentary. What are we thinking? Sure, pop them in for Chunky Kirash. I'll come back for Leo. All right. I mean, you you can stay in this for as long as you want, last, but because uh, I think that you're 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 a good uh, you're, you're my n my number two man right here, helping uh, herd herd the players. Uh, so you're welcome to come in as it is. But if Arbiter and Laird want to get in here, uh, for volunteer comms, by all means, let them hop in if you want to help them in there. For the rest of you guys, I think uh, they should both have permission to join this chat. Yeah. Uh, peanuts. Yeah, peanut. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead and step out of the call just to, so we make things a little easier for everyone. Or I can. Or I we can stack. So Get out. Me. Okay. Get out. <laughs> Bye, peanut. Get out. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh. For having you. I thank you so much. You're welcome. Peter. I. No, it was fun. Bye, it, was, it, was, it was fun. Okay, bye. Okay, thanks. It was fun. Bye. <laughs> Later, home dog. All right, I'm pinging Chunky and Kirash and letting them know to join in, too. All right. What an amazing uh, match or amazing event so far. Um, yeah, if Mango wants to join Zane Cody or or Waffles, that would be dope, too. Again, it's all if they want to. So, for those new viewers, those are over between... Hi, Chunky. Yo. Chunky. Oh, he's the strong, silent type. He is, he's a man of few words. I think Chunky's not going to say a word. I'm, I'm not expecting him to. I feel like the most lit thing would be for Chunky to come in, beat Kiarash in the rematch 5-3, and just leave. No questions asked. But what about the clip? All right, everyone, can we pull it up? Who has the clip? Hold on, hold on. Let, let me find the, it. The clip. Let me, the let me show clip. you. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, Katie... Just informed me, uh, who is Chunky Kong's roommate, that Chunky does not want to hot mic. Okay. Uh, I, so it, I it, think it, he'll be in the call, but will not speak. If anyone has the clip with the music, um, that's that's what I, that's what I need. If that, I have the YouTube video here, but if it's the clip with the music, that is the greatest, probably the greatest moment of the entire pandemic of online Smash. All right, hold on. I don't know where Kirash is, though. All right, here we go. Guys, this is what happened a year ago or two years ago. To say that I apologize to fucking nobody. I don't apologize to anybody. I got my win. I fucking won. <laughs> he also had some choice words to say. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, that part was fine. That part was amazing. The the part after that. <laughs> uh, do I? I think I understand, and I wish to proceed. Yeah. I understand I wish to proceed. That I apologize <laughs> to fucking nobody. I don't apologize to anybody. I got my win. I fucking what? Give me my fucking Xbox points. Give me my fucking pride. I win. I apologize to no one. Let's fucking win. I fucking win. We're sucking. We're sucking, huh? We're sucking. It was an amazing moment. And of course, because that, we had to run it back. So. This is it. Um, you there he is. He's here for his fucking HBox points. Hey, Kiarash, you in here? I am here. Hello. Kiarash. Oh, my God. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but welcome back to the salt box. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. I'm going to go on my stream. Yo, guys, check this out. Check me out. Check me out. HBox, put the put the HBox uh, bets online. I'm going to bet all in on myself. All 71,000 <laughs> going to me. Mods, run the bets. Run the bets. We're waiting for these guys to get into the room. Uh, let's go ahead and get in here. But before, 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 we, before we do this, Kirash, first things first, I don't expect Chunky to say a word. But you are the resident shit talker. So I need to ask you, with Chunky's improvement, top eight Momocon, I'll say his praises for him. How are you feeling right now for this match? Well, you know, good for him, honestly. Top eight, the easiest major ever. <laughs> no Meister, no MKLeo. The only two heavy headers I could possibly think of are just Light and Sonic. So, hey, good for him. You top eight it. 
but it's definitely a fluke. Are we gonna get Kirash versus Cosmos next? Oh. Chat, you want a saltbox three? Yes or no? I think already uh, might be a good idea, yeah. but we'll see. Oh, how much do I have? Okay, I We're have seven one thousand three hundred thirty-eight HBox points, all in, going to towards me. All right, we have the Wait. bets running. Let's put up the bets really quick. Everyone, we had ten million points. Bet for the Mac Ditto. Certainly we can beat that for this one, right? Certainly. Okay. Chat, do you see? 71,330 spent on myself right there. Let's do this, baby. All right. He's, he's putting Max bet on himself. By the way, ads are automatic. Remember? Well, that's a good thing that they're doing a button check then. They are doing a button check. It's very, very true. Yeah, if you have ads, make sure you drop a sub. You won't have ads anymore. Hey, Trox, I've got a, uh, do you happen to have any, like, song requests you could drop down on this avenue right here? You want, you want me to play a song request on your behalf, Kiarash? Please do so. I would, I would gravely appreciate that if you could. Usually it's five dollars for that, but because you're competing, I'll let you do it. What, what, I think what? he's asking for his stream. <laughs> oh, wait, what, what song do you want playing? No, 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 you know what? I'll play one for you right now. Here, I will send it right down to your way. Okay. Here you go, there play you. this. Where do, where do you send it? You send it in, uh, in Saltbox Salt Match 2. Fast Car. Bro, that's oh, DMCA. Like that's a good song, though. You dummy. It's, it's a remix, right? It's... You're a remix. I'm gonna play my own music. Let's go. I'm the greatest. I'm not a remix. I'm the greatest. <laughs> We're gonna find out. I'm, I'm playing some DK music. Let's go. I heard it. <clears throat> Kirash, can you recite the entirety of the DK rap while you zero to death with Luigi? I don't know how to. You don't yeah. know how to zero to death with Luigi? That's wild. They don't need no, to. No, they... it's Donkey Kong too. That's embarrassing, man. Yeah, no, I'm it's kind of embarrassing. Gentlemen. <laughs> no. Hey. <laughs> No, be quiet. Ch Chunky Kong, be quiet. I'm talking. There it is. Dude, I'm if Chunky beats thing, you bro. by just hooping and hollering, Let's go, my like a, like an boy. ape, you are going to get farmed. Laird, are you in here? My career is done, bro. Am I in here? Oh, wait. You need me in the ring? Oh, no, no. You're good. Just, I was uh, in, uh, is, uh, is oh, no, I'm in here. I can see it. I got you, Laird. Is Arbiter here, too, or just you? Uh, I think just me. I don't know. I haven't heard from him. I I've added him and everything. Okay, no worries. He wants to hop in when he can. Everyone, press one for the run. This is... The salt box two, the salty run back, Chunky Kong versus Kiarash. 15 million points. No, 16 million points. A new record bet on this match. Holy crap. You wanna know what's crazy? What's crazy? What's crazy? This what Jumbotron also has a Wario as well. You call him a Jumbotron? Yeah. That's the greatest insult I've heard in a while. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Chunky, any, any words before we get started? He unmuted. No. Oh! He speaks English! Giga Chad! Giga Chad! Here we go. He's gonna let his gameplay speak for him, boys. He said no. All right, it's time. Let's get into game number one of the second set. There's so this much, box. so much history between these two. So much hatred. So much angst last. I can't Antagonism. believe it. Antagonism. It really is. Big day for terminally online players, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> A huge Big day, day for it. people who did not go outside. Massive. Okay. <laughs> so all of us. Hey, man, I feel called out. We're, we're talking about the players right now, aren't we? Hey, man, pandemic was a long time. We were all stuck inside. All we had was these silly online games. What I didn't expect is these two to be back here. <laughs> hey, yo, wait. Look at chat, Hbox. What? Somebody's saying that they have comp site class with Kirash and he's graduating tomorrow. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wow. Congrats. That's funny. Clap, clap, up, clap, up, great clap, for, clap it up for, for graduating All, all the grads. I know there's a few of you in here. Half this audience is like in college. So good stuff. You know, if he wins this match right now, guys, this is gonna be a great graduation gift for him. Two hundred fifty bucks. He can, he can buy his family dinner. Or himself, like lots of dinners. Or yourself a fancy. Oh! Is there a name for that combo? The little. I call it the boom boom clap. Uh, the boom boom clap is a good name for it. We will rock you. <laughs> we will rock you. <laughs> the queen. You know what I'm saying? The queen. Yeah. Well, first stock of the set is gonna be taken by Chunky here. Oh, big punch again! 
Girash just not really landing any meaningful hits. Lots of stray hits instead, lots of zares, lots of dash attacks. Nothing really leading into anything else. Meanwhile, Chunky converting every single neutral win that he gets into something much, much greater. This is a first of five, of remember. Chunky's... True. Speaking of Chunky's gameplay a little bit here, boys, he doing a really good job of avoiding those grabs. You know, Luigi's got those automatic combos anyway, uh, starting off with a kill with that back air, but again, not getting grabbed is the key to winning this matchup. Uh, and as I, that, I had to say something. No, wait, that was phenomenal, SDI. You saw how early he got out of that? Would have been actually crazy. There is no bracket link because it's not a bracket, it's four individual grudges. Tasty Burger, thank you. And we have an even game one. They're both respecting each other. They both realize what one can do to the other with a single grabber opening. Yeah, and I like Chunky Kong there trying to keep Kirash on. It's throwing out that, that big Donkey Kong punch, trying to catch his landing. But right now, Kirash doing a good job whenever he's in neutral, saving his jumps, knowing that he always has an escape plan to get out of these combos. That should be another one. Yeah. Yep. One up beat for another, a soul for a soul. Kirash brings Chunky down onto the final stock of the first game. Chunky, though, puts him off stage with a back air, looking for something on the ledge here to close it out, and it is going to be just a grab cargo throw for the stock, so we are perfectly even, zero to zero. Doing well so far. Quite Battle the grapplers this moment. There it is. Hey, uh, Insane54, how do, you, how do you know this isn't scripted? I worked really hard on the script. Oh! 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 Whoa! God, Whoa! Yeah, he almost Rocket finished it! Yeah, Maybe 2% off! 0 to 112. Yeah, I, I would say even though that didn't kill, I'll take on a 112% combo any day of the week. Because he's still alive, that means this is still winnable for Chunky, especially with that fully charged giant punch on deck. Looking for these back airs. Oh my god. Looking for uh, something anything needs. Ooh. Harris trying to set up into something, but he just can't. Chunky Kong does not want to die. He's catching the spot. Oh, oh down B kills. Like or back air. Back Damn. Yeah, man. And the most key ass thing right now will be for him to talk shit right here after game one. That's the most. He did unmute. Here it comes. Hold. Hang on. Here we go. You know, <laughs> I, I need him to undef it because I want him to hear this. Oh, hold on. I'll wait. He said, oh, wait. Did he undeafen? He's, wait He's waiting for Chunky to undeafen. Okay, hold on. Uh, Chunky might not undeafen, so you might, might just have to say say your piece, dude, and he'll watch the clip later. What do you want, what do you want to say? Well, first and, foremost, first and foremost, you've gotten better. You've gotten better. <laughs> However, the type of play style that he's doing, you see what the hell he's doing? Like, he's fucking going on the back like to the corner he's cornering himself against a character who's got phenomenal let strap and then he's fucking just slapping the ground and, and thinks that's gonna work that worked the first stock but you think that's gonna work the entire set i promise on my life i'll never get hit by it watch this watch look he's down being at the corner thinking oh i'm camping luigi but look at me i have fireball and zare what the hell are you gonna do game two Good luck, gentlemen. Kirash, Bruh, definitely green saying, green? GG, Again, man, bro. you played your heart out. <laughs> bro, green DK Ways green ass. broccoli. We've been over this already, bro. We've been over this. What, you, what is he doing, man? Hey. What are you going to do against the lawn, Kirash? Let's, let's, let's see what happens. This bro, is bro, bro. literally the golf course. Bro, he's right there. Right there. He's down me. It's not working. It's You're down 31%. You're losing by a lot. Yeah. Like this is I'm almost like one of the worst the game. This is like taunt to get bodied? Wait. Oh, oh, or the grab. Oh, it's, he's, he's untouched. He's Wait, untouched. Since Kiras talked shit, he's untouched. I'm sandbagging, bro. I'm sandbagging. Relax. Oh, no. Oh, he might oh, have been sandbagging. <laughs> 60%. Okay. Oh! All right. Okay. You know, maybe, Kirash, giving your opponent advice about what not to do when you're only one game deep into a first to five. It's a bold move, Con. Like, let's, let's see how it plays idea. out. Yeah, it's a bold yeah, move. Yeah, let's, let's see how it plays out. Okay. Or maybe just Kirash is just him. Maybe, he's like, maybe he, has, he really has no fear. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe he wants to get Chunky Kong cocky right now. I mean, he's giving him this lead seemingly deliberately. I think he's got Chunky Kong figured out, but we hit Naren to back here. That's, that's stock one for him. Yep. Uh, Cody, you're up next. You're after this set. Yeah, Cody's name is next. Uh, probably 20 to 30 minutes, if I had to guess. Check me out. Check me out. I'm checking you out. Oh. What are we checking wait. out? You dropped the combo. You dropped it again. No, wait, wait. Clap. Yeah, oh, wait, where was the force mask? Oh, is he caught? Okay. I'll be on the platform? Okay. You've been playing for like an hour and a half. <laughs> that, that's the most top player thing. You grind for a first to ten with Zane by playing a two-hour practice session with Zane. It's it's gonna be it's gonna this be a good game. Melee players play. don't grind. Wait, well, I, 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 I took that picture at uh, BOBC. Melee players don't grind. We need the game nineteen. <laughs> we need the game nineteen. Okay, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking Chunky is pretty good on this right now. Yeah, he just needed the game to adapt. It looks like. Okay. Oh. Last, I can't believe how useful this down has been in outraging those Luigi grabs. Yeah, it's almost like uh, it's kind of a really good tool in the matchup, and Chunky just needed to adjust his spacing, and it's not useful. Oh! Like that. No. Talk fun. shit yeah, to right get two there. stuck? What are you doing? Oh, that's kind of wild, Kirash. Kirash! Oh, now the silence. Oh, I'm sandbagging. I'm sandbagging. Bro, you're I'm not. You're, you're getting cooked. All right, bro. Check me out. All right. I'm going to go back to deafening. I, I was trying to check you out, but by the time I looked, you were fucking down three stars. That's true. <laughs> by the way, real quick, because I saw somebody asking, uh, Quaz's Twitter is at the Magician. Magician. Literally right. magician, but Mac instead. Just so people know. 16 million. Hungry Bucks on bet. That's the all-time record, by the way, so far. So far. Three, two, one, go. And we got melee rat to this. <laughs> if you play the fight backwards, you can see Kirash adapting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, I've That's never the heard that before. Comment. That was fantastic. <laughs> Shout out to, to Chatter Limby. <laughs> Oh my god! Now, who said Smashers can't trash talk? That was great! <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying! <laughs> that's like, Hbox, you've been in the scene for a long time. Is that one of the best oh, you've ever heard? Shit, that's amazing. Every once in a while. Oh! He read his soul! Dude, it's this not is looking you good. It's not looking good for the future of Smash. Had that up smash to call out. We got a dead even set, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what happens when you buffer down B at a disadvantage. Chunky just waits on the ground and up smashes. You might be dead here too. Oh! You're dead here too. Oh, no. Dude. I saw it coming. Oh my god. Man, Kirash is the only one who's got those. Chunky Kong right now doing a good job minding his spacing. He's playing a lot more of a, a slower pace style than we would generally see from a character like Donkey Kong. That's the, the thing that I believe truly sets Chunky apart from other DKs, except maybe like Hikaru over in Japan, that he camps. He camps with DK, and it works. It works, it yeah, works, it works. Was oh! oh! Is it Jover? It might be here if Kirash can't get onto the ledge fast enough, but no. Okay. Air dodges through. Good conservation of resources. Wait. Oh, we got Lugi in the chat. Lugi, what are your thoughts on this? Lugi. I met you at Battle of BC. I made fun of your accent. But I know you'd be doing better than this right now. You stay up to watch this. That's that's how important this set is. And a nice high down beat, but it's not going to do the trick either. Okay. Rising up there from the ledge, man. Oh! No. Oh my God. I don't know. I I had faith, but Kirash, mad quiet right now. All Chunky has said is, those. "Ooh ah, ooh, hoo ha, hoo ha." That's all he said. He said no. He said no. We asked him if he had any words. His gameplay speaks for itself, man. Absolutely true. <laughs> and there it is.
Well, the one game needed to adapt has been had by Chunky Kong. Now it's balls back at Karash's court. Double two stock as well. Yeah. Chat, what do we think? One for Chunky, two for Kiarash. Who takes this? Yo, Luigi, you want to join for comms? <laughs> Hang on. DM me on Discord. If you have my Discord, I'll find yours. I'm, I'm, I'm just feeling like like statements have been made so far. I, Do you want to run him back or no? Wait, wait. The first thing that he said? <laughs> oh, he's out. He's out right now. Luigi can't. Okay, okay Unfortunate. Good. Chat, what's what, what right now? Run. What score are you thinking? I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking five two chunky at this pace. You down to go back to PS2? No, I, I'm I'm down to go all the way back. But hold on, wait, wait, okay. wait, wait. What's what's he doing? He's changing something. He's handing the controller to Luigi. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe maybe he is. That's why Luigi can't hop on comms. Ooh. He said he's out. We don't know where he is. We are approaching 5k viewers as Chunky takes the lead on the second set of the salt box. Ready? Kirash. Hungry box. Do you know the stage list? The stage list? We're doing coin box. Coin box stage list. I think if Kirash loses this set, he should bring back Gaming High 9x9. Oh my god, that was the worst tag of all time. What, what kind of tag is that? I made that shit when I was eight, bro. Hey, fo hey you're down 2 1. You can't talk. Was... You gotta focus. I think gaming high 9x9 was still better than Professor K. You know what I did when I was eight years old? <laughs> I won Genesis 5, 6. That's not true. You don't know that. That, it, that was Genesis 3. Get your ears right. No. I, number 6, I think. I think I won. Oh, misfire! Is he dead? Uh, oh, yeah. what the? Oh my god! Oh, dude, I cannot even with this chat. Bro, Thank not you. Only did he, not only did they give fifty, they gifted fifty right as Kirash died to his own misfire. Anonymously, dude. Thank you so much. Put a smiley face for the friendly ghost. Whoever you are, fifty of you get to avoid ads for the entirety of the rest of the salt box. Thank you so much, whoever you are. My God. I My cannot God. believe that gift 50 into misfire is a true combo. Dude, <laughs> thank you. This chat is so insane. <laughs> I, I almost lost my voice, but it's okay. Chunky two to one off that misfire. Q-Rash trying to bring it back. They, and you, you can tell he wants to win because the shit talk has gone down to an absolute minimum, and he even asked for stage counter picks. But Chunky is looking unbeatable right now. Oh my god. Honestly, guys, he's just doing a really good job playing around Luigi's projectiles. That, that's the thing you gotta use against heavies. You gotta keep that space, you gotta keep them out of your zone. But Chunky's doing a really good job mixing up his movement in the air and on the ground. And on top of that, he's been using his super armor to great effect to avoid these airs. He's getting in exactly when he needs to. Oh, dude. Doing a fantastic job, too, of baiting out Kiarash into swinging early with some of those maybe less than stellar Wi Fi habits like that immediate cyclone out of uh, disadvantage state. This okay. time, though, the cyclone is going to do its job and take the stock. One uh, grab is all it takes. Down. <laughs> One grab. He's the leader of the brunch. You know him well. My favorite Dua Lipa song. Just needs what, that. The DK rap? <laughs> One grab is all it takes. <laughs> See, right here, if I'm DK, I'm tanking percent on purpose, right? So I can't get zero down. I think that's actually a better option. I just do that as pub. See? Oh, my God. Okay. I mean, it's working so far, but again, Luigi does have true depth. Oh! This percent. He was looking oh! right there, but he didn't quite get it. He gets punished with an up smash. He's trying so hard. Back air. I think that's it. No, he should be able to recover this. He just jumped. That was so smart. And that's gonna be it. But that's it. That's it. Yeet! Oh my god. It's it's looking grim. Luigi saying, I just want a local be fast. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get here in time. What's Dude. the score right now? I, I fucking lost track. Kiarash, you're down one three. 
You are Some down. Some chatter saying, yo, can I get my points back? You are down galactic right now, Kirash. What do you have to say to the Kirash believers? They're calling you Kia trash in chat, dude. This is, this is. Oh, no. Silence. There's, there are still some believers. believers right now. Oh, no, there are still some believers. I see them. <laughs> there are still some believers out there. Hey. Well, to those who call me trash, it's it's not over until it's over. You heard the man. Until yeah, it is over, kind of it's base. not over. That's just science. That's kind of base. Hey, Chunky, what'd you say? That's kind of base. That's just facts. Chunky said it's kind of base. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Chunky is giga chat right now. <laughs> He only shows up once every 20 years to dispense wisdom. Oh. For what he does. My God, is he spitting. Zero to 89, though. He's a man of few words. Oh! Oh, my God. He missed space that back air. Kirash with the outer shield punish of that uppy. He's, He's fighting back. Early. He's got another grab, too. I, th I think Give. the phrase Kia Trash woke him up, guys. Give him his fucking H-Box points. He wants it. So bad. What, did he, what did he say he bet like 70k? Ah, yeah, his, his net worth in H bucks. Whatever he had, he put in there. And we are at 5,000 viewers for the salt box, my friends. Down tilt again. You're actually smothering him. He's getting in his zone. Not letting him set up his uh, disjointed options. Oh my god. Yeah. He's up there again. Ooh! I hey, gotta punish. It's not over until it's over, boys. For those down tilts on ledge, Chunky's able to bounce back in, though. Still holding on to this stock, but it's looking a little bit grim for this game number five. Went for the misfire. Uh, how do you win this as DK? I will also oh. remind you, chat and HBox and Lair, the last set was 3-1 in Peanuts' favor, right? Wasn't it? It was. No. And then... No, wait, wait. It was... It, it was 3-1. one, one, one Peanut won two. I think, wasn't it 3-1 Quaz, then Peanut brought it back to 4-3, then Quaz brought it back 5-4? Uh, maybe. Maybe the script writers got lazy. It was... Yeah, it was 3-1 Quaz. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Chunky should win this, but according to the script, it goes game nine again. Man, script writers were really lazy with this one. No shit talk now. <laughs> They're going right into it, unless there's a counter pick. Thank you again to the 50 look, gifties. We can look at the trends and the speculations all we want, but it's going to come down to who wants it more at the end of the day. And you know, Kirash, with all the shit he's been talking, it sounds like he really wants to make a statement here, and he's starting to claw his way back into it. But I don't know. I, I think Chunky Kong just needs to take it down his pace a little bit. Kirash played really fast there, and I don't think Chunky was ready for it, but it looks like now he's starting to camp again. Okay. Looks for the back air off that up air. Chunky, though, after trying to reset, gets caught by another dash attack at ledge. So difficult for DK to get off the ledge in this position, but he's able to get past with the new true get up shield. Down throw. Oh! Yep, there it is. Reads now, the DI. Now he's nailing the big hits that he has to. And uh, some extra credit would be going a long way for him here, too. Again, Donkey Kong's quite heavy, but, you know, these combos, they tend to last for quite a long time. I mean, look at him. He's already up to 85% on his second stock. It's the life of a heavy man. He's got to pay his taxes at the start of every stock. Taxes are very important. Hey. Holding on again. Two more hits and into the... Oh, that's the stock, yeah. Oh, no, he's alive. That's oh. good DI. I don't think quite enough rage was on Kirash, oh but the weak hit down there, I don't think he has oh. enough sauce to make it back. He does. Came back somehow. Down B. Kirash has woken up. There you go. You know what? He said it. It's not Jover until it's Jover. And how about if, if this goes to 3-3? Three, three, I mean, the dream, my dream as a content creator is every set here going to last game. And that would be the most incredible scout call on my end. Bigger scout call than Riddles. Like, Bro, we will be here until 2 a.m. Well, not really. It'll, it'll, it'll be that fast. But uh, 
the, these these go by <laughs> relatively quickly. Okay. Looking for a Hail Mary fair there. Gets caught rolling out off stage again. Gotta get off the ledge versus Luigi. Regain center stage. Okay. He sacrifices it in order to shark instead. He's gonna take it back. I, again, you know, he, he's trying to hold his space, but now Kira says, listen, I gotta stock lead. I'm gonna camp here. Please salute our 55 sub train. Of course, everyone adds do play automatically. If you want to avoid those dumb required ads, you can use Adblock or subscribe to the channel or wink at someone in chat that you think is cute that might give you a sub. It works every single oh, time. Oh, I've got a, got a prime. I'll save the trade. I got you. Julian, 98 months. And there it is. Okay. Somebody in chat winks at me. Uh, also, I did ask for Meister versus Syrup to happen, for those of you wondering, and Meister declined. Um, Syrup, I didn't mess with him. And when it comes to Jordan versus Natoru, since everyone's asking about it, we couldn't do it because online from Europe to NA wouldn't have made much sense at all for that much money. And there it is. In, in my opinion. So we have to actually... Oh! I had to actually do that. Luigi wins. Well, that's a pretty I big explanation. I am moving, bro. I'm moving. Oh! I told you I was sandbagging, bro. I told you I was sandbagging. Kia... I'm I'm trying to be a, a, a your father figure here. Last time you talked shit, you got lit up like the Fourth of July. You need to just call the down, W. Finish the set, then talk shit. See, with that mindset, I will lose. But I don't give a damn, bro. I'm gonna win this. Do you have any words for Chunky? Any, any what do you want? A, a word or a name you have for him right now? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> He's reformed. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Something happened. Oh, someone disconnect. Hold on. Wait one second, gentlemen. One of you disconnected. Oh, wait. I think you disconnected, Hbox. Might be. The arena closed. What do you mean? Nintendo Online is flawless. What do you mean? That would never. True. Flawless. So true. Nintendo, Nintendo knows how to make it. There it is. Hbox, blink twice if you're in danger. If there's a server update though, I'm gonna actually throw my switch at the wall. Please no. I, I will actually. It's been too soon. It's been too soon. Step into the ring. Uh, Rehosting room. Um, I'll put it in the chat. All right. right now, I'm wondering how this pause is going to sh shake things up a little bit. Hey, you know what? Uh, oh, I think Lugie's ready to join, apparently. Yo, uh, I'm going to post the Discord link in the chat, and I'll give you a roll. Wait, Xbox, what did you just say? About what? You said Lugie? Lugie, the best Luigi player in the world, wants to commentate the match. For now. Oh. He wants to commentate. Yeah. Okay, well, send him in. Okay. Wait, do you guys have beef? No, hell no. I, bro, Lugie's a fucking good friend of mine. All right, bring I it. I love Lugie. He's dope. He's cool. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Let's get it. Lugie, click right. on that Discord link that I posted in chat, and I'll give you the role to join call once you join. Now, you have to understand, this is now a deadly set. This is now basically a first to three. It is 3-3. Three, three. Is there a command to check previous match results? If a mod wants to do that for me, that would be amazing. But currently, there is no command. But I can tell you that currently Quaz defeated Peanut in a Schlobberknocker 5-4 match. So that's what we had so far. Schlobberknocker. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Game, game seven. We're on game seven. Oh, my God. Still in this. And still on PS2, if I if I remember correctly. No, actually we're switching it up. Chunky oh, Kong decides to go Battlefield. Counter pick. Okay. Okay. What do we think of this? Um, I think Chunky wins this. All right. What about you, Les? I'm still on Chunky's side here. It's the Chunky counter pick, so that's a down B. 
All right, I'm, I'm inviting Luigi to the call right now. He should right. be joining shortly. Sweet. Look at this. Letting every fireball stay just out of range. Fair call out. Thanks, damn, bro. Good amount of damage, but Luigi's gonna come down with a with a big old nair and try to hit uh, Chunky Kong up in the air for that. All right, yo, Lugi. Yo, what's up? Real quick, oh, real quick, real quick. Yeah, what yeah, day yeah. was yesterday? What day was yesterday? A Tuesday. A Tuesday. A okay, Tuesday. Okay, okay. <laughs> a Tuesday. Um, if you're all right, boil off water, oh my god. <laughs> He's from the UK, in case that wasn't painfully obvious. Yeah, bruv. <laughs> Lugi, do you want to explain to the chat what you did to me the first time you met me? Oh, okay, so me and Hbox actually go a very Box. far away back. I just back. wanted to hear that. There it is. Alright, go ahead. Very far away back. So pretty much, he was playing friendlies. I woke up, I was 16 at the time, by the way, a, a young lad, and I started <laughs> screaming in his ear, It's him! <laughs> you're you're still a young lad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still a young lad, but we older now. And he walked out, out of the room. I did. <laughs> yeah. You, you were annoying as hell, dude. But now... Yeah, I was, I'll admit. <laughs> You, you've, you've earned your stripes now. Who do you think wins this uh, set? It's 3-3, Chunky with a slight lead game, uh, 7. Who do you think? I, I love Kira, but I actually think Chunky wins this in a 5-4 fashion. 5-4 fashion. I, I, I'm yeah. down. I'm down. That will be an amazing timeline. You know, I'm hoping for the Kira stuff. You know, Luigi player and that. But, oh, my oh. God. Hold on. Oh, he's 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 up nice up for the damage. Oh, oh my god. Oh, the grab. I, I, I honestly... Right, that's confirmed. I rate that. I rate that. What, who, who wins this matchup, you think? Oh, Ding Dong! Oh. Hoo-ha! Oh. Oh. I, think, I think Luigi wins, but it's plus one. Oh my god. Wait. Chunky okay. might get... Remember, you got... Let me, let me show you the, the clip. You remember the clip? Kia Rash? <laughs> Lugi. Hold on. Lugi. Yo, Lugi. yo, hello, Lugi. Kia Rash, my best friend. How, how are you doing, bro? Look Why at, the fuck did score. that down tilt miss at the ledge? Why? Huh? How do you Why did that, that down tilt? tilt, down tilt? You, you just know. mash it, bro. 5-3. It was 5-3 when this happened. It might be the most poetic ending here. It Dude, might be if Chunky wins 5-3. It might be. You said DK, you said DK, you said DK, you said DK. You said DK? You said DK. What? I don't know. Yo. Don't make me come all the way to the UK. Listen. Yo. I was doing down tilt at, while he was holding ledge, but it didn't hit. You should just do just, it better. Like, what's the good? Just press A better. Smart, just right? do it better. Just do it better. Do it better. 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 Do it better. Right, so, hear me out. I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck all of you! I actually hate all of you so much. I think oh, hey, you should do it. Yeah. Where's yeah. Copter, dude? Literally, literally, Copter. No, literally, the whole time in BABC, I was going <laughs> to say water, bottle of water. All right, hey, hey! This is not professional commentary, hey, okay. gentlemen, children, children. All right, all right. Here Thank we go. you. Here we go. Let's let's go. go. Let's Why is Didi in here? Wait, Didi's in here? Yo. Oh yeah, I just wanted to say that Chunky Kong has been going easy on him. He wins this beat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. Alright, that's okay. He's going easy. Everyone's in here. Okay. That's alright, that's alright. This, this is, if this goes five games, this goes nine games, it's crazy. This is hype as hell, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I know how to bring the hype, dude. I, I chose these two because I know they bring a show. You do, you do. Every Respect. single time, and right now, on this game, Chunky is one game away from $250, a salt box two title, and perfect poetic revenge on the man who called him a dirty slug. Not long ago. A filthy hose. Exactly. Ooh. Garden tool. No Ooh. Ah! <laughs> what a spike! <laughs> 
Oh my lord. Wait. Right. No answer just yet. Oh, down B. No, Chunky. Oh. Down B's not going to die. So much damage. Oh my Chunky. god, what a set. What a set we have. Wait, they got to go around there. That's crazy. A little reversal. I'm pretty sure without Psycho in there, he died to that. Yeah, he, I, I actually think he died as well. Yeah, PS2's got that low ceiling, yeah. Dude, PS2 is Dude. Monkey Kong's best stage. Stop taking DK to oh. the stage. Wait, wait, is this fans or random stage? It's it's are banning. Wait. It's coin box. You actual Muppet, man. What the hell? <laughs> he called him a Muppet? <laughs> You actual Muppet man! Wait, how many bands is this? How many you bands? Muppet man! Oh, wait, <laughs> you Muppet man! Oh, wait, you left DK because of fucking PS2! Actual- Bro, and Kiraz can hear all this right now is the best no, part. Oh, he's, he's deaf and I'm about to say. Wait, set point! Everyone hold, hold, hold! Okay, 16 okay, million okay. H bucks on the line here! 250 oh. bucks! Oh! You're a believer. Kiraz needs your energy right now. Oh, Mr. Punch. Oh! Hold on! Holy shit! Oh, oh like my god! Right there. Holy shit, take it, Big bro. punch yeah. again! Yeah. Up tilt! Going for down tilt to DK! <laughs> Wait! This might be- Oh! 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 oh. 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 He lives! He fucking lives! Okay, hold on. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, one more oh no! Back. Oh! Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's oh! No, it's not. <laughs> Where's the Zare? Oh my god. Kong coming down with oh! Down B. Imagine <laughs> two game nines! So scary. Oh my god! Imagine oh, two game nines! Oh! oh my god. No <laughs> fucking way! Two oh game god. nines! Holy shit! Oh! And you call him a <laughs> because he took him to fucking PS2, of course I'm gonna call him a uh, I'm pouring another one for this one, boys. Oh my <laughs> god. This is... Press 1 if you're enjoying the fuck out of the salt box, too. This has already been 18 games of salt. Back and forth. Back and forth. Oh my lord. I think they're going back to PS2 again. <laughs> Oh my god. No shot. This guy on defense right now. I'm gonna get some choice words. <laughs> Back to PS2? They haven't they haven't done bands yet, but the bands for the last game, Chunky's asking for his bands. Dude, this Ooh. is getting actually real right now. A game nine, bro. A game nine. Kid Rash asked for the run back and Chucky said no. <laughs> oh! What? He said no to DK on PS2? Bro, hey, listen, Chucky I'm said, I'm starting to kind of pick said, FOD ban? versus Cody Schwab. The stage meta is in complete transition right now. We're in the industrial revolution of stage picks. Everything is changing. Trust me. This is going down, man. What the yeah. hell? Yeah. We're about to see the most insane ending to this beef. Potentially. Kirash, what do you ban? Okay, wait. Wait, let me think, bro. This pussy who doesn't want even want to go back. Let me think. <laughs> if you're going to ask me for help, if you're going to ask me for help, the answer is I am not giving your ass a help. I you don't want your help. You're right. I don't want your goddamn help. I'm better than you. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. I respect Ooh. it. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Hold Lugie. <laughs> Lugie. Yo, where up, where would you up? go? He's gonna he's gonna disobey anything you say. Where would you, as a Luigi professional, go right now? Where would I go? Yeah, stage. Yeah. Uh, shit. Where would I go? You where would you know. ban? I mean, where would you wait, ban? Is okay, a better wh question. What would I ban? I mean, for I mean, I'm usually like as a player, I prefer banning the opponent's better stages than my good ones. So, like personally, I would get rid of like Smashville. SBF and PS2. Okay, I think there's two are, bands those, for those Coinbox. Me. So isn't that the uh, the Wario player from your region? Who? Uh, SBF. Uh, SBF. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, why would you get rid of him? That's kind of. Now nah, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that is true. I feel bad for him. Love him. Love, I love SBF, but you know, I'm not a fan of his stage. You know. Chunky I'm not does. A fan of his stage. Chunky does have a Wario. Is that true? That is true. 
Wait. Could you he imagine? Does. working on it. For game nine. He's... The all the gamble. He's not if going he goes... well. Okay, wait, wait. No, Katie, Chucky Kong's roommate just said in chat he's not going Wario. He's not going Wario. I think we're sticking okay. to the full DK. Damn, they snitching. Hey, <laughs> hey we'll, 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 we'll take the info we can get, but as of right now, this is a very tense pick. This is this is a two hundred and fifty dollar three stock right here. That's that's er, everything. Still hasn't sent his bands though. Okay, Kierash. Battlefield and Smashville. So I, I think Chunky goes. Um, Kalos. Small? Kalos. Wait. Okay. Oh, no, I no, have okay. just the this song. Is, no, this is actually this is actually a really good pick from Chunky because this is, in my opinion, Luigi's worst stage, Ooh. like one hundred percent. Oh. I mean, why is that? Oh, oh my God, um, we're going to church. Side platforms, the side platforms, it makes it really hard for him to get pretty much any pressure going. I don't know, dude. I, I've i lost to Luigi many, well, I'm puff, doesn't really matter, but. H-Box. Yeah. I think you have a, have a, have a, have a little, a little jaunty tune. I do. Reserved for this stage. I have the remix oh, of it, really? actually. Yes. We're going to play, are, there, are, there, are these players ready? Are they ready? I, I think Kierash is, is composing himself. Giving him a little pep talk. We know you know. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> See. See in a moment. What if he just fainted? What if he's AFK? He passed out. <laughs> it's game nine. You can't pass out game nine. This is it. Imagine if the fucking servers go on the maintenance now. <laughs> <Not again. laughs> We run the we run game nine in melee. If the servers go under maintenance, we what run it in melee. It? Oh my I'm god! I'm down to watch that. I'm down to watch that. Well, I mean, look, Luigi and Donkey Kong. Are okay. Yeah, Luigi DK. Everyone pray. This is Whoa. it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. One for fuck Chunky, it, two it, for Kirush. Who wins this shit? This is it. Game nine. I think at the end of the day, though, we can all agree that we, the viewers, are coming out on top. No, it's oh, not PS2. Yeah. He said so. After all that yeah. time and all that build up, they oh, forgot to change the stage. Built Kalos, picked Kalos, bro. What the fuck? You should have banned it. <laughs> Chad, Chad do we, are we hitting 6k viewers by the end of this set? I think we are. Holy crap. I'm banging smaller stages. I don't uh, It's fine. All right, we're going, right, we're going Kalos, Kalos, right? Good luck, my brother. You got this. Thanks, brother. Thank okay, okay, okay. What? I cannot say shit nowadays. Everyone breathe. Everyone breathe. Everyone breathe. If I, if I don't make it, if I don't win, just yes. know that, just know that you were, you were just such like I've had, you, I've known you for quite some time. Just know you were a terrible friend. Wow. Thanks, bro. I really appreciate that. Sawbox nice Three is looking I great already. Been. It's looking oh, great luck, already. Good luck, brother. gentlemen. Thank good, you, Roll. Good luck. Good luck, my brother. May the best man win. May the best man win indeed. Oh my god. Put an L for Loogie for joining us for commentary. This is funny as hell. Here we I go. Appreciate, I appreciate the offer a lot. This shit was fun <laughs> as hell. You're funny as shit, dude, when you're, when you're not being a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> it was a year ago, but thanks, bro. It was a year. It was less than a year ago. Luma get lucky. <laughs> Hbox has gotten banned from the UK as a result. Oh, shut it. Shut it. We're going here. Can it. Can it. Stop it. You said get bit. Right, what's all this then? All right, all right, guys. Right, it's Kalos. It's Kalos. Is this the pick? Lugi, what do you think? Is this the pick? Oh, is this the pick? See, on Chunky Kong's part. Yes. But on Kirash's part. I can low-key see it because big stages, you don't want to be near DK, that shit's scary. This is this is for all the marbles. For all the marbles. And we're yeah, running said, like, perfectly on time too, it's beautiful. Okay. I'm also just saying, without without platforms on center stage, it's really difficult for Luigi to get away from DK because of how slow his yeah. airspeed is. Yeah, and plus Chunky Cook's playing the match on Kalos really well. This is how you play against Luigi on Kalos. You get the lead, you just stay on that platform, and he can't do anything directly under you. He has to put himself even slightly off stage. So this is really good play from Chunky. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, they're playing like the money's on the line. Okay, down for, B to answer. For $250, I would time him out. I'd, I'd time my own mom. 
Screw it. Okay, triple parry. Game, game nine timeout would be crazy. Okay. Jesus Christ, no way he caught the jump with that. Not Ender. No, you wouldn't shim on you. Not Ender, I'll time you out. Yeah. Get bit. All right. <laughs> okay. He tossed him in the feet. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Offstage, this is not a good spot for Kirash. Dude. Chucky goes a little bit too deep. No <laughs> stocks taken. Oh! Oh, he did it back! Oh! Okay. Dude, this is the most careful I've ever seen either of these players play. Oh, that's a grab! No, it's not! Oh my god. Basically, what Luigi's saying is a guy like me would have grabbed there. Guy like me? Yeah. You're different? No, no, it's about Joe Coke. He would have grabbed. You're, you're, you're different? Okay. Oh my god! And so is Chunky Gong, apparently. Chunky! Oh, <laughs> this is so bridge. close! Oh, dude. It shouldn't be legal how close this is. Okay. 6,000 viewers, guys. Oh. Oh. oh, no! It won't kill Kano. No, that DI! Oh, no! Oh, no. Chunky! Oh, he needs a full... He needs a perfect gimp here. Oh my a god. Critical mistake too. Oh my god. Wait. Oh boy. Down B! Oh! We got last stock! Oh we got god. last stock! Oh, oh my god. Hold, 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 no! Hold on. Wait, there's no room. Oh, can he get him on the platform? Hang on! Yeah, he he gotta kill him. Oh! Oh my god. That's a Luigi oh. moment. That's a Luigi moment. Dude! Everything! Dude, oh, no a, fucking way it ends our, like that. Can I Kirash, say it? Kirash, you can say it. All right. Go. Say what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mic is muffled, dude. Nah. His, <laughs> his mic went out. His mic went out. He was like, go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro. I. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll okay. T tell him to undeafen, bro. All right, yo, Chunky, out of respect, you gotta undeafen here. Can you hear us, Chunky? How can you tell someone to undeafen when they're undeafened? Oh shit! <laughs> He's undeafened. He's undeafened. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, you're yo. with you, bro. Look, that was man. Good set. Good set. I, I will give mm -hmm. you that. That was a hot set. You, you've, you've improved like incredibly. I will applaud you. I well done, bro. Like you actually made it really hard for me. You got me fucking like scared and shit. Now if I lost, I wouldn't be telling you any of these things. So <laughs> I would just <laughs> but, I'm kidding. So on a real note though. Yo, thank you for hosting. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we know who won that. I think we know who the true winner is. Man's gone, bro. Like, he's out of the vent. Salute. Oh, oh sevens for he Chunky. He always gets the last word. Man. The last look, word. I, look, I... Although I have one, I... Uh... Kirash, call him a Muppet. Oh, look. my God. Okay, he's... Okay, this is for you, Chunky Lord. Chunky Lord. Your fatherless endeavor. This is for you. <laughs> for leaving the call in the middle of my speech. Although I have one, I uh, it was a close match. It could have gone any way. And, uh, you know, I've hit you with all these zero to deaths, and I've, you know, done all that. I've... This right now, I really want to say that I apologize. 
to fucking nobody. I don't apologize to anybody. I got my win. I fucking won. Give me all of those Xbox <laughs> points. 71,000 went towards me. I win, baby. Give me all those Xbox points. How much? Is that? How many do I have right now? How many do I got right uh, now? What's you... that? 153,000. Everybody on my stream, check this out. Check me out, bro. Look at that number down there. I fucking won, bro. <laughs> he won. You Come won on. it fair and Get square. Hey, here, hey. Bro. No, you also won 250 bucks, my friend. Congrats. 250 bucks down the drain going towards Utah because I am going to crown this upcoming weekend. Base. Where I will destroy more people within this major. Chunky, Xbox, you need to give me someone harder, bro. Chunky Kong ain't nothing, man. God, he bro, nothing. he God. took you to last God. fucking... Yeah. Wait, Didi, talk. Did you just kill him at 10% twice and then call him fatherless? <laughs> Answer me, answer me, answer me, answer me, right now. God, you put him at ten percent. Do you think you like? Do you think you for really deserve that? Put some respect on my name, bro. I made you. Without me, you're nothing. <laughs> Next, soapbox set. Oh. Didi versus Kira. Oh. Money. Yeah, I need to see this happen, bro. What the hell? Bro. Who Bro, here really has no her. father? We're gonna Didi. find out at the salt box a, three. Didi. <laughs> Holy you're a joke. Didi, I like you, but you're a joke. You're killing all you do, all twice, you do bro. is talk about all you do, you have no social skills. All you do is talk about oh Steve, Steve, oh look at me. Steve wins this matchup in Rio. Smash Corbin. for shit. Sure. Go fucking outside, bro. Hit the gym. Do some push-ups, <laughs> man. What the fuck? I will I say, Kirash, you are literally three times his size. I will say that. In both <laughs> Width and, and length. No, uh, I got owned. What? I got owned, however, I will be looking forward to the free money, so I'm sure. The free money? Wait, Didi, Yay! question. Free can, you, money, bro? can you beat him with Steve or without Steve? How's that Game & Watch coming along? Uh, It's going pretty well. The Game Watch is going pretty well. But yeah, I can probably beat him with both. Oh. Loki, what, Loki, what I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see a grudge match Luigi ditter between these two. I'm trying to see that, Didi, Luigi. Luigi, I'm trying to see that. Doug, Didi, what? I don't think, I don't think you're able to comprehend how phenomenal I am at the Steve matchup. You... I don't think, like, like, do you have, like, I don't think you have the inkling to process that, bro. Like, I. I will destroy you if you go, Steve. Your PT, I'll need a little bit of practice on it. But you're, bro, you're a pipsqueak. You're nothing. You think Steve, Luigi, you win free? Bro, definitely. I, bro, I own that matchup. And to be, okay, I'm not going to, I'll okay. be honest with you. Wait, Luigi wait, 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 is wait. actually one of those characters. Thank, thank God. Luigi is one of those characters that does phenomenally well against Steve. He doesn't, Hold on. He doesn't hear, me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. After... MK Leo Zamba tonight. If we hit 200 subs on here, I will throw an extra hundred dollars for you guys to duke that out in a fifth salt box set tonight. What do you guys think? Wait, oh. hey, town. Thanks for the money, Town. Come on. I'll do it. No, I hate you. Wait, Didi, isn't that like way past your bedtime? Yeah, the what heck the hell? Up, man. <laughs> Didi, aren't you like 14 years old? No, I, I got all this this semester. So no, my, this jit is actually is grown up out. now. This jit is actually grown up now. He sounds older. Like all right. he was four, like the last time I met him two years ago. He was like, he was like fourteen. Like I filmed the video with him. Like you know when Zero was around. Like but now this guy has a deep voice now. No, I don't. So he's not. Didi's voice yeah. is very like. Didi, you don't what? talk when I'm talking. <gasps> all right, all right. All right what all right, the all right, fuck? Don't talk to me. Cross don't slash him. will throw in a hundred more dollars. Wait, Doug, cross slash him, says we'll make it a two hundred dollars set. Cross slash was throwing an extra hundred on that. Is that true? But, buddy, I'm gonna keep it a buck. You're not that guy, but <laughs> you call me buddy. This yes. Buddy, you call me black bro. What the f bro? I'm your older brother. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, listen, I'm and I'm both your fathers, and y'all need to, y'all need to. We'll settle this. If the subs are there, the subs are there. We'll settle it there. We got to go to the next set. Any last words, Kirash? Thank you for doing this, Mr. Hungrybox. I appreciate it, and I am looking forward to tonight's uh, extra revenue oh. being handed to me. But no, being gifted to me. There it is. Because Didi, you're not gonna do shit to me. Didi, last words. 
This, this is for Chucky Kong, bud. I can't let Bud call him fatherless after killing him ten twice. I can't let that slide. Dude, your breakfast, bro. You're nothing, bro. Your breakfast, your Sunday. Okay, okay, that's you said your part of balanced yeah. meal. Yeah. These are some British intros, and I'm literally from the north of fucking London. London, London. London. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I can't we need, we need to hop to melee. All right, guys. We need to hop to melee. He's from the north of London, but oh, I, we need to move on to the next uh, set. London. I literally, I literally cannot <laughs> stand this guy. London. I cannot stand this guy. Every single time he talks to me. Oh my god, I cannot stand this anymore. What, what the hell? Guy? What guy? Uh, Lars. <laughs> All right, Last, all right, all right, all right, all right. Be nice. All right. We all I good? Love right. Love. I love Lars. <laughs> what, what, what a lad. Everyone, what round of applause lad. for Kirash and Chunky. An amazing Game 9 set again. This entertainment today, it, I knew it was going to be good. I had no idea it would hit this level. Nearly, We already had 6K viewers at the peak, and now it's time for our headliners. Y'all ready for this? So, We're gonna... Kirash, Laird, Luigi, thank you guys for joining us for this set. Whoa, go ahead. Really Anytime. Right, that, that, was fun. that was really fun. It... Thanks, right, Zane. Uh, B-Bats is on yeah. their way. No, thank you, Zane. No context. Money. Please the, don't. Uh, I, I, you guys. Check and speculate what that means. You guys promised to play hard. Yeah, we're going to. <laughs> That's why he doesn't want to talk. He just wants to play. Oh, all right. Here we go. We warmed, we warmed up for two hours for this. If I see a Roy, I'm turning it off. We're going to MK Leo Zamba. <laughs> I swear. Do, we still, do, we, do, I, do I get paid then? I think that counts as a forfeit from Zane. I get paid. What if it's your Roy, Cody? Don't go, Roy. I'll be so fucking angry. <laughs> I'll be actually... I'm, <laughs> all right. Anyways. Um, I refresh it. Uh, Cody, go ahead and broadcast. I sent you the code on Discord. Yeah, I'm doing that, doing that real fast. Uh, okay. Let's get B bats in here, Cody. You're yeah, allowed they, to have. Uh, they said they're on the way. On the way. How does how does stage? Is it just last two stages we won on? We can't go back to. Uh, just regular MDSR or yeah, yeah well, regular. Yeah, well, yeah, well, Boofy, you're the most ten. unlikable Twitch chatter in history. Uh -huh. I swear to God. We are you beefing yeah, with Chat already? You think about that dude? He's not the most unlikable melee player in the history of melee. I swear I to God. That guy. Boofy, what uh, have you done with your life? You're in here. On a Wednesday night, watching me play Zane in Melee, and you're telling me I'm unlikable. I'm gonna life, bro. Hey, man. Hey, I'm, I'm good, man. technically I'm mm -hmm. here also watching you guys play paid. on a Wednesday night. You get paid. You get paid. <laughs> Great dude is paying you to watch. Uh, for to answer your question, Cody, uh, last two stages you won on are gone. No bans. All right, so we got Cody uh, versus Boofy Thug Finals. Yeah, we got yeah. <laughs> we got Kiras <laughs> versus Didi. This gonna be great. This is gonna be a salt box two point five. Me versus Luigi. This might remember, guys. Two hundred subs doing a fifth game. All right, I see. Uh, okay. I see virus. Is that you, virus yeah, IV? That's it. Yeah, that's it. I'll start the hand warmer. Okay. I will probably top one hundred most likable. It's like one of the nicest things Twitch chat's ever said to me. <laughs> uh, All right, I will I'll probably click be after this. I'll click virus. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we're gonna go now to the actual match right here. Turn this off. Melee should be on. What the hell? Well, that's true. I did. I did accidentally insult all of you, but all the rest of you are awesome and great human beings. Just that one guy sucks. All right, that one person. Sucks. Cody, good luck. Zane, good luck. Moist, moguls, Zane versus Cody Schwab. This is the Salt Box 2, match number three. Please place your bets. We had 16 million points bet for a last match between uh, Chunky and Kirash. Surely we can beat that for two top three melee players in the world. And here we go. Yes, ads are playing I, I automatically. Cope seed. Uh, I can definitely start. Uh, let me let, give me one second. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Stage box says go. Also, since we didn't get to say it, hi Bbats, you're here now. Hello, I I I was meant like next coin box, and now I'm here. So you know what? You love asking questions because apparently I just get to do this. Yeah, now. You, you made it, Bbats. <laughs> Bbats, do you want to introduce yourself to the chat for those that don't know who you are? Hi, if you don't know who I am, I'm one of the worst top 100 players in the world currently at number 58. Nice. Um, uh, I'm a good peach player. Um, I'm kind of chill. I got 13th yesterday at the coin box. Good so, stuff. So, you know, we do that. We do that sometimes. All righty. Well, um, I think bets are already run. 
Um, yeah, let's close. Let's go ahead and close bets after game one ends. Let's make this interesting. But uh, Cody Zane, if you're ready to start, please go for it. All right. See you in hopefully 10 games and not the bad way. 10-0 would be insane. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Okay. This is going to be tense. This is this is a wild one right now, guys. Uh, we we promised some both ultimate and melee action and uh, this is this is essentially what we wanted to see for the first coin box. Zayn went Roy, but uh, from what I understand, this will be try hard matches right here. We're starting on Battlefield. No, here we're going, and these two have had some of the most ridiculously close sets as of late. At, B At Battle of BC, we saw two game five sets, so. I think this first attempt is going to go the distance. I'm going to be honest here. I think we could be seeing a game 19. Uh, I, I, people were saying that so far, both sets. Oh, God. Ooh. Zane, what a statement to open this best of 19 set. No, and I think the important one is that uh, on Battlefield, they've also been trading, but it's been pretty. That's a very important game to pick up. In a first to 10, momentum is like everything. Because, like, the second you start making... Oh, my God! Oh. It's the fastest Marth kill I've ever seen! And that's what he does. If anyone's going to answer back that quickly, it's Cody fucking Schwab. Now, these two play, like, the most of all the top players, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, it's so cool to see their, like, adaptations and how fast oh. they move. And, oh, my God! Dude, they told they me... It. They told me they were actually warming up with each other for two hours prior to this because just because they wanted to play at, at their best at their most warmed up so we're we're gonna see some fireworks no i actually love that because that shows that both think like yeah if i'm warmed up i'm the best player in the world like i'll beat the other guy i mean like that's so cool to see especially with uh with cody like you know like cody cody wants the thousand dollars <laughs> like cody it, wants that money if, if you do count the online era as what we had both of these players could say at one point that they were the de facto best player in the world, Zayn during the vast majority of 2021, and Cody, of course, most recently with a win currently at Battle of BC, him and Jaymu vying for that title, but these two about as fine as it gets for their characters. This is the best Fox and best Marth player in the world. You can get out right here on stream. Yeah, no, Cody has won his last nine tournaments so like that's Damn. someone who that, yeah that's someone who's planning on, on continuing that trend right now and oh the enter the flames jeez so quick yeah i don't think you realize how difficult it is to win seven coin boxes it's just obscene yeah no you're paying you're paying this rent you're paying this mortgage <laughs> <I know. laughs> i'm a sugar dad right now it's crazy <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates you. You must have his uh, his his Venmo is like his Venmo saved in your mind. Oh, I have memorized, dude. You have no idea. <laughs> He's on Liquid's payroll, apparently. Yeah. All right. The forward smash comes in. Very close game one already. Oh. This is such a tricky situation because it looks so uneven. But Cody's one up smash away from taking the lead, and he knows that. Right. You're right there if he wants to. Yeah, that classic little Marth Rytus situation. The short hop up air poking through the side plan of Battlefield. Why? Because Fox is broken. Fox? Broken? I don't believe it. <laughs> I like that we can agree on that. You know, two floaty players who hate this goddamn <laughs> Fox. <laughs> he, he's he's the best character, and it's it's okay to have best character, but look at this game one already. Maybe this will go 19 games, man. It, it would I... just be poetic with me. <sighs> Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm so sorry for how long this stream's gonna last because 19 games means a lot of games on Dreamland. <laughs> it, it might be, but I, I, I don't know if you hear me about it, but uh, if we hit 200 subs today, we're having a bonus fifth match at the Softbox tonight. Oh, wow. I assume that's a, that's a little hidden. Uh, no, no, they know exactly who it is. There was shit talk during our last set between Kia Rash and Didi, who's another ultimate player, and uh, oh, they, yeah. they're gonna duke it out if we hit it, so we'll see. Okay, look at this he last stock situation. Right? Oh, uh, that's going to be up throw up air. And to up smash. Chase. Cody Schwab. Oh. Coverage. That's ex that's exactly how he won his first set against uh, Zane at Summit. Is that up throw. And the second they land on that top platform, they're basically dead. Cody's got that tech chase like down perfectly. Right. Okay. And Man. FD. We've seen Cody win the stage against Marth how many times now? It almost feels Too like many an times. 
Like, <laughs> he's so good with Fox that we're now changing the meta of stage picks. I no longer am going Dreamland versus Cody Schwab. I go FOD now, as of last night, which is crazy yeah. to think about. I don't blame you. Cody on this stage, this, what FD is, it's basically just like, the second you win neutral, you get a ridiculous punish, which for every other Fox player in the world is a nightmare because they're fighting Zayn, one of the greatest players to ever play the game. So his neutral is ridiculous, and then his punish game is really good. But Cody just doesn't lose neutral, so then he just kills the Marth over and over again before he gets an opportunity to play the game. And that's just kind of wild to watch. Like, Cody's so good on this stage. It, it it's honestly baffling. makes it look even. It's baffling. And for those of you wondering how counter picks work, um, this is the same as best of five melee, but you can't go back to the last two stages you went on for first time. I believe that's what we're doing. So basically, we're seeing the same. Uh, we're going to probably start seeing neutral stages around game yeah, five. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Zane, looking good on FD right now. Yeah, this yeah. is an important one for Zane. I mean, to be honest, against what the spaces. Short. He's gotten reverse 3 0'd on FD a lot recently. Yes, like, quite like, literally. Like, I think FD is a stage where Zane, like, is starting to lose a bit of his confidence because, like, he, he's on the back. If you're on FD, that means you're on the back foot of momentum because that's your counter pick. And if you're not confident oh! on the counter pick, it gets way scarier. Oh my god. And it's almost Zane's fault for being that good, right? Like, the reason he's losing is because people have no choice but to figure out some sort of counterplay to the person who can arguably be argued has the best spacing in the world. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the only way you beat him. Playing he, perfect. He's, yeah, he's not used to being on the back foot because he's just normally so far ahead of the competition. And there was a solid two years where, like, de facto number one, no one brought him to game five. Like, because he was just sweeping. So this is always interesting to see. And right now, he's looking super confident on FD, which is a good sign for the first attempt. Oh, my God. He really is. And what a what a time that Cody's prime of his gameplay comes during his unsponsored stint. It's just what a story. Yeah, I mean, any organization in the world would be lucky to have him right now because he is he's fighting for number one. He's winning everything. <laughs> Might be number one in in, in three in, in four days. Back there yeah, again. That's very true. Okay. Next trots and. Last night situation, Zayn really does not want to lose this FD game. Yeah, this is a big one because you've had to lead the entire game and now Cody straight down. You know that's a mix up they've played a million times. Like, <laughs> Cody guessing right. Good high, not okay. dead. And the short end, because he'll never miss those. He's from Tri State. Again. Oh. oh. Didn't pay the modder enough for the notches. All right, that'll happen. <laughs> okay. Doing it again? <laughs> man, whenever whenever Fox is an angle like that, I just go like, man, they paid $400 for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They paid so I, much. I, I, I feel like the, of all things, the controllers are the hardest in the trust lately. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I feel like the better controllers peak, the more we question the mediocre controllers. Yeah, I'm saying like, hey, my greatest make melee has been played on an OEM. That's all I'm going to say. My, I agree with peak. that one. But last night, I, I used my fob and it, it felt really good. So <laughs> I'm, I'm back to not being a hater anymore. <laughs> okay. I'm glad. Cody's punish is just absurd to watch sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, the way he just dodged the swing back to stage. Cody is playing around Zane's hitboxes so ridiculously well. Zane finally gets a nair. This could be it. Yeah, calls at the angle. Yeah, and that's that's what he's so good at doing. Cody famously also best recoveries. Not just of any Fox player, potentially the best recoveries of any player in the world currently. Uh, yeah, one of the reasons, not surprising, some of his rank one. Um, Fox, many more options to cover than Marth, but Marth, of course, can. Oh, Marth can mix as I was saying it. He can with withdraw movement and mix up when that up B happens. And Cody lost a fresh stock just for that loss. Well, that's that is zero. He had no expectation, no tech, no nothing. He just dropped. Yeah, he did. Up airs to up airs, ashes to ashes. Nice into Nair down tilt, and he gets the second oh, hit, and 
He ran! Oh! Oh! He, <laughs> he ran! He floated down with him with just enough time on the up to recover. Zane! Second jab! Du no! Oh no! It's cursed! Oh, he have died there. What has that always happened? If you miss that, you die. It's it's the balance of melee. Oh, but Don't get shined. Zane, that's gotta be death. Oh, <laughs> Zane, such a clutch game three. God, so well played. I knew these two players would put a hell of a show on. That's amazing. Man, oh my God, Cody! Cody died at like zero off the stage, and then he should have died at zero the next time. Yep, going back to Dreamland. I think it's all good. Oh, Zane, I'm let, I'm loving this level of confidence from Zane right now. Yeah, let no, the man warm like, up. I, I think if you don't lose that game, like the game where you completely whiff a stock like that, like you you die and they oh! lose, which is the hardest thing. Oh! oh what the f what? fuck? Don't and that, don't tell me Zane's dead. Don't tell me Zane's dead. No, oh my god, no, they both messed I, up. Oh, Cody messed up the shine out of shield. He had a dead Zane. Oh my lord. Such bizarre interactions. That's a shine. He <laughs> saves the jump, but it's not enough. That drop down shine, it's such an important edge guard tool for Fox. It then forces Mark to have to recover so specifically, and Zane just just got dropped. Yep, that's what that's what'll happen. And the oh, first so first to ten, just so many chances to adapt. It's literally four times or at least three times the length of a of, of a best of five. So you never know what's gonna happen. Man, no, it, it. These are two players that are built on adaptation. When you get this good at the game, the smallest adaptations get so rewarding. And oh, like, hey, oh my God, up throw up B. Yep, and that is the one that's gonna hit. I think that Fox for sure. Insane conversion there. Only Zane would think of that. Yep. Like in that moment, man. Just crazy to watch these two play. Like I feel like you just <laughs> learn just by watching. Oh, see, Zane doesn't get hit by that shine this time. Oh. He drifted around it. Dude, they are game. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Softbacker into strong shine. <laughs> takes shine. his jump. Cody back online. Oh my god. Reverse air back air drop down shine. And what an angle. Oh my god. Emily notching that one in there. Yep. Cody told me apparently he's on Emily's setup right now, so he's using cat girl earphones. Which is that so beautiful. Gets the up throw. He defers the movement because he knows he has, the, he, he has the option there. You can't react to Fox rolling that quickly. Yeah, it gets really hard. And the longer you wait, the more pressure you put. Oh! Your mind. Down there. The crescent wow. moon down there. So, so well spaced. Same perfectly dropping to the ledge, not giving Cody anything for free. Oh! <laughs> if he got the down B, that would have screamed. Because he had a, he had a little bit of vulnerability. Great back dashing both players. Runs off, back to safety. Cody has to respect it. Yeah, dash dancing, just trying to put more more pressure on Zane with the movement. Up B, Marth Killer dead. Marth Killer. Well done again. I love it when things like Marth Killer like get like get found because it shows how creative the Marth then get to recover. Like Zane's recovery oh. have not been killed by the Marth Killer at all recently. Oh, dunks it down air! Oh my god, so clean going out there, weak forward air, and we have an even game. Oh my lord! Tense two, last stock. Zane's already yeah. up two one here. Yeah, it's 2-2 two, two or 3-1 in the next couple of seconds. Big difference. That's going to be a big... Yeah, no, that's a massive difference. Oh, momentum built. Oh, oh I the down tilt. Oh, he avoids it. Zane getting pressure on the ledge. No, he still has percent to roll back on. Up tilt. Up tilt. Fair. He said, oh, I'm going to wait for your roll. I'm going to get it instead off the top platform. And then he goes for the double jab. Down for the up air. He trades. 81-94. Close as can be. Oh! Oh, perfect DI! No shine! Oh. Cody, not killing it! They both didn't realize Zane. Cody gets it. Beautiful. Oh my god.
Oh my god, they played so many mix-ups in that one last recovery situation. Cody, too afraid to commit to Mark Killer, feigning movement, trying to force Zane to give an option. Zane took so long to commit, but Cody found the coverage, and now we're on Pokemon. Dude, I literally... It, it, it's hard to imagine every set so far at the Saltbox 2 going the max distance. That would be probably a one in a billion chance, at least, or close to it, if that actually happens, but... Crazy. Oh my god. Zane covering high here. Beautiful up tilt. Up tilt. And again, Love dead. It. Love it. He's just covering things. He look I, I love it when you just tell so clearly, like they are not autopiloting. They are reacting to the option being presented by the opponent. And Zane is doing that so well right now. Switch! Oh! Okay, recovery. Okay, yeah, Cody paid a lot of money for those notches. He did. Or he paid zero dollars, actually, because, anyway. Yeah, oh. no, that's true. It'd be funnier if he did pay. <laughs> free notches, free Vyvanse. <laughs> It'd be way funnier if he did the, pay. The, the ultimate <laughs> melee player. Okay. Up B again. Up B! Wow! <laughs> this is Zane's counter pick on Pokemon with no transformations. It, it It's FD, but with uh, training wheel tippers. Wow! Beautiful coverage there from Cody. Okay. Even if this was the best of five set, this would already be an amazing one. No, exactly. This would be a classic. But the thing is, it's so cool that we're going to be seeing a first to ten. Because, like, both these players are giving it their all. No one's no one's slacking. No one's sandbagging. It is just pure good melee. Right. What a down tilt. And the Dolphin slash Zane with a statement on Stadium. Oh no! Down. This could be yeah. The notches did not notch. Marceline, Mr. thank you. And that's gonna be three two lead so far for Zane. Mr. H God, how many first to tens have you played in your life? Very very few. I think I've done some money matches and some uh, uh, exhibitions, but very few of them. Why do you ask? Then this is this is the question. Uh do you think losing the best of five in the first to ten that kind of impacts the mental a little bit? I think that the numbers skew, you know? I think that I play a best of three very differently than how I play a best of five because of how many risks I can take. I always tell people play this set, not the game. And I mean okay. that uh, if you play enough tournaments, you'll understand what I mean. But this is a whole new animal because, you know, anything can wow. happen. And not to mention, you can go like the same stage twice, maybe end up playing on a similar stage three times. It really depends on your stamina more than anything when it comes to things like this. You can't tilt. You can't go into full sway. You can't rush into it. Like Let's say you get three stock on, on game five. You can't just rush in game six. Every single game is different. You have to play to a similar plan and not let the past affect the future. That is a good thing. That's a very good... Uh very good advice for especially a longer form set like a first to ten here and i think cody's following that very well cleaning up two stocks like that and just he's been playing very clean on this stage i mean we're gonna start seeing repeats very soon zane has one on three stages so he can go back to the one he first one on i'm so down for 19 games insane. i i think that if you are a fox or a marth player this this should be this is your bible, the bible. It, it, yeah, exactly no, this should be your Bible. You should be studying these games, going, what's the adaptation? What's Zane doing to beat this option? What's Cody doing in response to that? And I think that watching two players at this caliber perform like this, Cody, after getting like two stocked on Pokemon, going to Fountain, a non-traditional counter pick, and three stocking Zane, that's advice. That's something you gotta look at. Might, might be the two most evenly matched top players in a, in a long time. Yeah, I think especially in a matchup that, what, three years ago, Pete Foxes were describing as, what, like, unwinnable? Like, FD's too strong no. of a counter pick. Hey, like, sweet, <laughs> Swedish dude, propaganda, dude. Wait. Dude, I was, I was getting so mad about that. I That's can't That's the same lie, as Puff is number one in the game. Just, you gotta dude, take it with a grain of, of, of salt. That. Yeah. All right. I think Puff's like seven. <laughs> <laughs> and B-Bats, we are three games apiece right now. Yeah, no, I uh, I just I just want Cody to get his one thousand dollars, man. <laughs> he needs this shit. He's got to move. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, the 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 one K would be a nice icing on the cake after a uh, a a very nice um 
coin box marathon win. So we'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, he's got to feel comfy. I mean, even if he he's in his home, uh, his home turf, his home field. Like this is this is your stream. This is his his computer, and he hasn't lost a tournament at his computer yet. Like this kind of online season, uh, so with the coin box coming out, Cody just hasn't lost, which is wild. Exactly. Like he's dropped a set to you. Is that it? Uh, a lot of people, but not that many at the same time. Uh, are you talking about the Cody? Yeah, I mean, like, oh. this is on, in the coin boxes. Oh, no. It's just you, I right? was the only player that's taken a set off him in the past two months. Man, that, that it's crazy. Like, <laughs> he, he's so good. Yeah, he's... And look at the recoveries. We're back to Battlefield, like we said. They started here. Zane won here first. And now it's kind of demonstrating again, like, why he won here. And this is big. Because winning, winning on the repeat. Oh, my God. Dude! This is level two Zane. He's like, all right, the first six games are over. Now now we're going to level two. There's like three levels to him. Marceline, no, basically, oh. 30 subs if Cody wins. Oh, my God. I want that to happen, but right now, Zane. I'll, I'll accept their bounty, but Zane is this might be a four stock. Oh, no, Cody. <gasps> like, no, Zane's basically telling Cody, like, hey, can you oh. up right now? Because I am, I'm, like, I've got so much gas left in the tank. Like, th this is insane. A four stock game seven? Actually, it might actually be a four stock. The Cody finds it. Oh no, we got it. All right. Good. That's good for mental. You know, four stock during a best of ten or first ten is horrible. You you think but about it the whole time. It Jamie? messes up your head. Oh yeah, down tilt, dead. Zane doesn't drop it this time. He he has been seconds. known for. He's been known for kind of whiffing those edge guards recently where Fox is so low. And the fact that we saw Zane whiff one earlier in the set and now hasn't missed one shows just how much he's adapted to this. Actually insane. And we're at game number eight, four to three, as close as it could possibly be. And Cody starting it off with, an, with a strong opening on Yoshi's. Oh man. You know what I like though? What's Cody uh, didn't bring it back to Dreamland. That was the first stage he, uh, I'm pretty sure that was the first stage he won, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, but that was, I don't think we've seen it even a three stock until that. One match. And the down B. Oh, Cody's angle. crackhead Crazy angle! Dude. angle. God. That is why you date a controller modder. <laughs> like, that is why you get those angles. Those are beyond mangles. Those are, those are kangles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or IBD wangles. <laughs> I don't know what call it. IBD wangles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back throw. Ooh, missed it again. I love the. He like NIL'd onto the stage, you know what I mean? From the from no, below. And Yoshi's, because of the slants, the platform heights, and everything, it becomes a, a playground of movement. And it's so cool to see players abuse it. Oh, wow. What and a forward air. Here. Zane, incredible coverage, but Fox still has the best recovery in the oh. game. The Roy Edgeguard. So you thought the Roy Edgeguard coming in hot right when it has to. You tested him, and Randall. you got the answer to the platform. Oh, air dodge call out. Zane. Zane. Wow. Wow, insane, insane combo. Cody said yesterday after the set with Ginger, fuck Randall, and I'm sure he's repeating. Randall. It's a Cody I'm Randall softbox for number, number softbox yeah, three. Yeah, no, could that be the, could that, could that be 300 subs? Yeah. <laughs> Cody versus Randall. We gotta hit one goal at a time, but I'm down. Okay. Cody wins these though. Cody won this situation on FOD at Battle of BC in spectacular fashion. Oh, my God. oh no! Shine! He let canceled to avoid the shine. So smart. There it is. But Cody's on the, the offensive right now. Yeah. Two of the best players in the world showing their offensive and defensive options. That ledge cancel or uh, by Zane was insane. It just it kept oh. him so safe dead. God, Zane up and five the, three oh. now. The first breakaway of the first to 10 here, Zane got a gap uh, on Cody's counterpick again. Um, wow. If I'm Cody, breathe for a second. Back to Battlefield, he got almost four stocked here last time. I think you gotta show confidence. This is a stage that Cody loves. Tri-State Fox, like the, the old saying, like this is, like this is their stage and 
man, Cody, Cody after getting kind of molly uh the last Battlefield game. I'm sure he wants to prove himself, but yep. Zane is looking like one of the best players to have held a controller. Like I mean, that, it's 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 that's been a, an obvious truth for a while. In fact, on most go arguments, Zane is already easily in many people's top tens, even top eights. Um, just for the which is crazy. I mean, in terms of skill. That, there was an argument. There was an argument that was true. It was like during 2021, he was the highest skill player to have ever lived in that moment so far. You know, I think uh, Cody or Jamu could have topped that soon, but it's just melee keeps on evolving. You know, and the game is is task levels of the game are faster than any human will ever touch it. So the game will just get more and more optimized as the years proceed. I'm super excited to see what melee in the year 2030 looks like. It'll be, God willing, it's still around, and God willing, it's more insane than ever. You know, Melee came out before I was born. I do now. <laughs> like, that that is like what, the Melee is just an insane thing. It, it, it's so beautiful to watch. Yep. It's so spectacular. It's it's the closest thing to a perfect game I think we're gonna see for a yep. long time. Remember guys, for everyone subbing, resubbing, if we hit 200 subs, we will be getting a fifth match for the coin box tonight between Didi and Kia Rash. Uh, $100 minimum. So thank you for the support to the channel stream that follows everyone as Cody tries to find a double shine edge guard does not want to go down 6-3 here that's double that that will stay in your head I think this is make or break I think Cody loses this the set, the set's over I think yeah if Cody loses this one great 6-3 is hard but he, Cody Cody looking looking so strong great edge guard and there it is oh my god oh the subs right now holy crap thank you guys okay Thank you. Put a BB oh, in the chat wow. for Bunny Boy Gorn. BBG. Thank you. Cody looking a lot better now on this Battlefield game. Like I said, ignoring the past, right? Staying focused on what matters the most, which is the end goal. Not what happened before it, the end goal. And there you go. Two is stock to yeah, answer. There it is. Cody Schwab back in the ring. It's only 5 4 now. What an amazing the set. The coverage is just so good. Cody is so confident when he has to be. And I think going back to Battlefield and winning is key here. And this FD game, Cody, when confident, beats Zane on FD. Like, I'll just say it. Cody, Cody peaks on this stage sometimes. It's yep. insane. And he's able to go back to the stage, of course, because it was he. the rule is you can't go back to the state last two that you won on. And we just saw oh him my God. win on Battlefield and Yoshi's. Z Zane's moves are not doing what they're meant to do, and he's still killed. <laughs> Mark of the top player. Me melee, melee is just angry jazz. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. And, but this is that tricky situation. Cody's got nothing to lose at 160. Oh no! no! Oh, what good God. tech! The tech? The Roy! Okay. You tested him! Yeah, that was his only way out to shining, but of course he went too low there. Known for those super tricky mix ups on their call out up smash. Look at that. Dead. And Zane had to kill Cody at 180. Cody killed Zane at 90. And like that's just what happens. Like any lead is just like when you're playing Fox, these there leads can just melt away because you get openings and these kills just come naturally. Right. Well, being what the only good character that really consistently kills off. Oh, the top, careful! Like, it's Fair to come off that bad situation. That was so smart from Cody Schwab. Nice. Oh, the movement from Cody. That was so tricky. Oh, oh, oh my God! He just, he just he, him. He, 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 he juked him out. Oh, but then he, he died, and then he lived, and Zane drops some flip, relatively yeah, easy Zane. edge guard. Zane again. It's that specific situation in many tournaments. If you watch back these sets, that catches him, and he covered it the last few games. But he's getting a little shakier now, and I know Cody recognizes it too. B bats, it, 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 imagine. Imagine the how, how poetic it would be if if uh, you know we 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 get a five five situation right here. It would be I would honestly love it because I think like I am learning melee while watching like right now. This is helping me. I love talking about this game. Okay. And like honestly, the race. The race for the best player in the world is often is, is between three people right now. It's it's Jmook, Zane, and uh, and Cody. And right now, like 
Cody, Cody demonstrating like the, from his play that he can do it. But Zayn on FD is such a hurdle sometimes. It's that big hurdle. Oh my God, in the up smash, he's bringing it to last stock and Cody and the situation is so scary. It might just be. Decides to go Oh! 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 The shine, the no way he lives. It straight up back air. Oh! This, is, this could be it. Oh, Zayn! Zayn up 6-4. Oh my god. The thing is, Cody doesn't have to worry about FD for another two games at minimum. Like, he's he's in a good spot where if he starts winning now, Zane does not have access to FD for a while. And I think that's a that's a very important thing. <laughs> Everyone typing 6-4. Good <laughs> lord. The 6-4 podcast. Yep. <laughs> you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Vaughn, bon, thank you. And there it is. For Zane. Bonds are in for Zane, but let's see. I know we got a lot of Cody believers in the chat as well. This one's looking intense. We're going back to Dreamland. Oh. Zane. Oh, dead anyway. Those Ooh. edge guards are so brutal. Like, it's those classic more edge guards. He touches you once off stage, you lose your double jump. You should die if you're a spacey. All right. But but you know what Cody does? He's like, yeah, you touch me. Oh my god! You touch. He's like, you touch me once off stage and I die. I touch you once on stage, you're dead no matter what. Because my punish game is, is so good. I'm I'm Cody fucking Schwab. I'm the um I'm, I'm like I'm fast. I love the my part controller. where he where he he Schwabbed all over him. That was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, you're a big Schwab fan, huh? Schwabbing. On the deck. <laughs> Careful there. I get so scared when any fox is that close to the ledge against Zane. Shine, shine, pressure. Pressure is so good. If you're if you're oh curious why Fox God. is the best character in the game, just watch Cody play. Because he calls that out. Wow! Mars recovery lingers. His movement is so good right now. Upside call out. Chase. A little late. Dreamland a bit of like, oh. a bit hard to get to. <laughs> he went nowhere for a bit. Mars bars, there thank you. There. Oh my god! No kill just yeah, yet. Cody. Cody got a little bit too and got a little bit nervous there in that situation. I would too. I mean, you almost died. <laughs> oh Death man! Again, he's it, been messing up those side B heights this game. Like I said, this this might be a, a battle of stamina more than anything. He got the Marth killer. Maybe maybe right the set had to go to six four for the meme, and then the true. Oh, <gasps> double shine. No jump use. Oh, a big call out from Zane. Cody yeah, gets out the up notch. smash shower spot. Oh my! <gasps> oh! This punish! This punish is absurd. But he's still in it. Oh, went for the went for the shield breaker big, uh, on the top of the stage. And we've seen this situation so many times. Cody over 100. Zane at 90. It's an even oh, game. Oh no! Dies. Oh, you hate to see it. This I... streamline game is big you don't want to lose this going down three games in a first to ten is rough yeah three a three game deficit versus zane i mean i don't know how you come back from that there's not a lot of players in the world who could come back from that okay back air weak back air we reset oh my zane god zane will die jump. Again, resetting the situation. The side Vs have been so Ooh. good for Zane back here this time. Not Dude. even risking it. Okay. Oh. Cody fishing, but oh, power shields to get up attack. But doesn't find the up air. Cody on the juggle. Reversal. Cody. Oh, no, 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 no. Up. up tilt. Goes backwards. Zane knows how to punish this. Up air. Up air. Up air. Fair. Forward air. Oh, Reverse was that Randall? Was that Wispy? Was that Wispy? Oh, he'll go. He didn't say that. Oh, my God. Look at Cody. He's just, he's trying to cover everything at the same time. He's. I'm the tech. Oh, my God. Up B. Good DI. Doesn't kill. Okay. This is what you paid your money for. What'd you do? High up oh. the angle again. That's it. No short in. Oh. Dead. Fuck. Zane. Up 7-4 okay. right now. I know, I know that there's going to be doubters. There's going to be non-believers. But we've seen Cody reverse 3-0 Zane. Oh, before. we have. 
We we've seen we've seen it. We've seen it on double FD. I'm gonna tell you, I I believe in the Schwabster. I think when the when the going gets tough, the Schwab gets going. And like I think it's possible here. Once the Schwab starts, they don't stop. Amen. Okay. okay. Is Dreamland the pick right now? I mean, it, it was close last game. I think he just dropped some easy recoveries, but... Look, you're probably the person who's played against Zane the most on Dreamland. That's true. Do you true. think Zane's good on this stage? I have not beaten Zane on Dreamland in, in like a year. I don't know why I keep going there. <laughs> he's really good. That's not true. That's not true, but it's... it's He's very good on this stage. I think it's because, like, it, it's, it's that classic, like, I'm counterpicked here so often that I'm almost comfortable here. Like, where it, it gets scarier. Because, like, Zane, Zane knows he has to practice this thing, so he practices it, like, individually. And it makes it so scary for the foxes, for, for every character to fight Zane on Dreamland. It's uh, something that happened kind of recently with Falcons and FOD, where, like, they were like, I'm getting counterpicked here every set, so I'm just gonna become the GOAT here. And then they just do, and then, like, you lose. Yep. Cody, this is, this is vintage Cody right here, staying alive at 222%. With Fox. Someone said, I want one Roy game. <laughs> That's messed up. No, 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 no. If he, if he goes 9 4, then you get a Roy, Roy game. But <laughs> yeah, I think we see. I think I think he gets tested. Oh, okay. Mr. Schwab. Ooh, ooh. Signs of life. Perfect down the up to two shine. Man. Jab what? The, shine, the jab <laughs> into the shine. That was just. That was so messy. But it worked, and he's breaking through. It, yeah, it, it, just sometimes it's. It, you, <gasps> I'm gonna tell you. I think rapid jab's the best option. Forward throw. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, that was so. Oh my god. He's insane. That was so good. Oh. What was that option? He down air fast. No, 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 no. He, he gave him the illusion of safety, jumped full hop, let Xander go first, then down air, ran down. Oh, Cody Schwab! Oh my god, no, Cody's back in it. Cody back knows he can win. This is going game, this is going game 19, dude. I see it. Oh. I see it in my heart of hearts. Zane can't go back to FD. He won one game on Dreamland. And now he's got to win a game on Pokemon. Bro. For, for Zane to get FD back, he has to win another game. He, he, if, if Cody starts winning here, it, Zane does not have access to FD. And there it is. Okay. Let's see here. And now, oh, Cody's kind of whiffing a few options. Sometimes those fast adrenaline games, those games that you, in, you do the craziest Oof. shit, you just end up faltering. The next one. That happens to me all the time. I'll get like a four shot, then the next game I lose, and I'm like, I'm a clown. I mean, Melee, you know? <laughs> Melee is hard. just like I'm that, even game. Me Melee is not a game where, you know, you, you get the first punch and all of a sudden you win it all. You got to get the first eight punches, you know what I mean? You got to, like, yeah, you, you, you got to really... demoralize your opponent. And, and one stock doesn't do it. One game doesn't even have to do it. And with crowds canceling and the defensive... Oh, yes, he's he's right. He's an artist. <laughs> he's, he's just an artist. It's almost beautiful to watch Zane play sometimes. He just inputs. He just does the most insane combos. And you just watch and you go, that makes sense. That makes sense. And now he's dead. Oh, dude, it, it feels like no. What a recovery from Cody. But it's not enough. How did he get through that? Zane called it. Oh, dead. dead. He just kept oh. the Ooh. Zane says, I want FD back, please. Oh. <laughs> I'd like FD back. This is crazy. Dibs. God damn. Zane is looking so dominant. Dead. Bro. Up air, up B. Who else in the world is going to hit that? I don't know. I, I, I don't even know, but it's this is... This is looking a little more grim by the minute as Zane is now two games away from that $1,000. Zane and Equilateral are the only two foxes who will ever hit that combo. Man, this is crazy. Zane is just so 
Zayn is playing so well. Cody now has to win on FD. If he doesn't win an FD game, he's going to lose. He needs to win this game if he's, if he's not gonna lose. If you're nine and five, five games in a row versus Zayn, I don't think anyone in the world can do that. Well, except Leffen that one time. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> you, you see how you see how infrequently we go to FOD. No one, people hate the RNG element. You know, they they want their platforms one height. Yeah, no, they're nerds. Hashtag like, not my platform. Oh. You don't like FOD. You love Ooh. FOD. I, I, you know, FOD and I, we broke up. We were on a on a break, but now it's like. Fod's like my toxic ex, you know. No, she texted you, right? No, she texted me the other day. I, I heard that. I saw that. I, I, I miss us, <laughs> ass beat. <laughs> she, she me and Fod. Me, she, said, she said you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I the stage though. It's 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 just like with for Puff. It's and Peach. I think the stage is just like it. Fox can get just mixed so hard sometimes. Cause he has to go in, you know, and that top platform isn't as nearly as high as most people think. Yeah, no, that top platform is a full hop away from basically every character except yours, oh. and like, and it is really hard. Zane can Zane presses up and the direction, and oh. you, you get hit. <laughs> wow. Wait, he just Shut lost his stock. Dead. He's back yeah, in he's it. Dead. See, this is a situation Cody's been in a million times before. This is how he beat Zane. At, uh, what do you call it? Battle of BC. It was this situation. He was down so much on FOD. All right. Elimination game yeah. for if Cody. I'm, if I'm a betting man, this stock right here determines the set. This is right here. You, you don't you don't win this set unless you win this game. <gasps> oh, oh my Wait, god. Wait, up air? What's the follow up? Up till up air! So good. good. SDI, so of course. He's the only SDI. one of the best players in the world, B-Bats. Of course Wait, he no. hits that. He opts in. He just he opted in for the SDI. Yep. Like, oh my god, is that dead? Okay. Oh my god, it is! I want Cody. this to go the distance. I want it to go so bad. I'm cheering for Cody. Okay, Cody Schwab gets the real back air. Up air. Up air. Bear. Back air. Bear. Shark air. Oh! Dash attack. Not gonna hit. Oh! Zane's got another shot at recovery. Up smash. Cody. Cody takes the game. What a comeback! He fucking won that game, dude. Look how down he was, and he won. What is it with Cody and FOD, man? He's a magician on the stage. Except against you. It's not <laughs> over yet. As long as he keeps us close. As long as he doesn't let Cody Zane get that nine game lead. Huh. Oh my god. Oh, Zane what? counterpicked Battlefield. Holy so shit. that game so that on elimination game he would have FD. That that is messed up. That's so smart. That's so crazy. People on chat saying it's over. There's one player in the world that doesn't apply to. Ever. Yeah, okay. Bit of a flub. I think it's Cody so fast he can react to his own SD and cancel it. You know he can. <laughs> yeah, you know he can. You know. Wow. Oh. Cobalt used to do it. Okay. So there's two stocks. Up smash, call out, yep. He's so good at that. He does not let Mark recover on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zane, Zane is forced to ledge against Cody every time. Yeah, it's like you're dead either way. Shine, up smash. Gets the read, up till God. Or... Oh. On this what a shine. Oh my God. Up air into, up air. back air. Back air. Doesn't go for up air there because he knows. Oh, the four smash, call out. Smash. Marth killer, he's dead. He should be. Oh. Drops it. He dropped oh it. He, my no! God, oh my God, no! Worst possible situation there just happened. Marth killer reversal, and I believe that's the nail in the coffin, Bbats. I look. I I can't say it. <laughs> it's two but, stocks here. But. That should be the nail. I don't. I mean, Look, we, we know it's Cody Schwab. Players, he's already cooking. A lot of, a lot of oh players, my God. I would tell you. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, <gasps> Miss, 
Mr. Juan, uh, against a lot of players, I'm confident when I say, like, this game's over, this set's over. I do that on commentary a lot because I try to be honest with the viewers oh. here. And I want to do that here. No. But Cody we, we, Schwab no way. is so good No fucking way. Game. Cody wins this game, dude. Are you serious? Are you actually serious, Cody? You can't do it. He's you a, can't count him he out. He was invented in a laboratory if he wins this. Oh, my God. Look at the movement. How are you not tired yet? Look at them sweet the neutral! Oh, he finds it! Oh! Get up attack reverse! Get up attack! Ah! Up air! Back air! No way! Building up air! Getting a shark! Oh my god! He He's missing the ah! shark! Not getting reversed! How does he win these what? games? Oh. How? Legitimately one of the best players He's the best in the, in the world. world. When he's, down. he's the best in the like, world, dude. I don't even know three, what the fuck to I don't know down? what to say. Oh my god. What do I even say? We're, I'm just I'm honored to be in the same era competing as this guy. What a fucking monster. He he got tippered at 20, died and just said I opt out of losing. Rever I opt out of that. If he wins this it's 8-7. We have a set, dude. We have a full set. Zane just got reversed three stock twice. This is this is insane to watch. And Cody. Now Zane has Zane has to do the mental. Am I going to use my FD now? Which he means did it to I me don't too. have it for game nine. He did it to me too. And Zane doesn't want to give up FD. And he goes back to Battlefield. He says, you know what? I flubbed it. That's on me. I want FD when I am 9-7 up. Yep. Or when I'm 9-8 up. It doesn't matter. And I get it. But Cody... Cody's not going to give him these games anymore. Zane got a few freebies. And Cody is not handing him anything. All right. Okay. And, and there it is. Oh, dude, 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 dude. This, 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 this is going 19 games, isn't it? Juan, Juan, this is actually it. going 19 games. It, it, is... it was 8-5. It was 8-5. What happened? <laughs> this is why people ask me, is, is it too late to get the melee? It's never too late. But, man, you're, you, the competition at the top, it's very stiff, my friend. It, it's full of people who dedicate too many hours to playing as perfect as possible and you're seeing it in action here this is quite literally the most optimized fox has ever been in the history of the game it's honestly just so good to see wow. I'm, I'm i'm just a spectator now i'm just spectating what i'm watching what a show from the can we get a clap for these two competitors for Everyone so far, the shows we've been given. My God, and this is from online Smash Bros. Isn't that amazing? Man, it's so crazy to see this. Like, these are two players that came up when in in the 2016, 2017 era. Like, and now they're they're playing the oh. highest level melee I think you can ever see. Yeah. This is definitely the highest level best of five, uh, best time, the first time I've ever seen ever. Not even a question. Like, look at how Cody's playing. He was down eight to five. Anyone else in the world is going to lose to Zane decidedly in that position. And Cody, he brought it he's back. potentially gonna just get it back. He brought it back, dude. Oh my God. You said how poetic it would be for it to become five, five. How poetic would it be for it to become eight, eight? Oh. Air dodge, wait for it. Oh, Zane just took three straight stock! My god! Just when I thought Cody's not in control! No one is Look safe! At the mix up. Okay, Dead this. Though, last stock. This is, so this is the most important stock right here. Oh Box my down. god. Forward throw off the stage. Cody's not getting rid of that air dodge. That habit's stuck. Is that dead? Grab switch! Oh my god, he's back to neutral! Side B to stage, the Netplay Classic. Oh. This could be dead here. This could That's be it. it. Look at the. Oh! Wow! Zane from the clutches takes three stocks in a row.
to go up nine to seven, denying Cody the equalizer. Cody Schwab has to win three games in a row for the 1K. This is it. Have to be on FD. But you know what? There are two players in the world who have ever done this against Zane yep. with these three stages Dreamland, FD, FD. Cody Schwab two and Jane. Two of them Jane have Boot. done it. And Cody Schwab is one of them. And a thousand dollars, you know what? He's done it for for more money with more pressure. So I believe in him here. Mango, Mango did it too. Kurdo saying Mango did it too on those two on those three stages. Yeah, no, exactly. Those are the two. Oh, I thought, I thought I thought it was Mango. I thought it was. Uh, oh, that's right. The double fox come back on F two. Yeah. Yeah. There are two players have done it, and I think Cody with that's that. It kind of solidified his spot as like, you know, maybe the greatest Fox of all time with that one. And right now it's, he's trying to just get that, that, that position. Okay, up tilt. It's all about him getting that first stock and building these small little leads, which grow and grow. Okay, okay. No. Oh! What a short and what a shine. Cody getting that reversal says, bring me to Who is that I'm team? here. Who does that? Oh my god. He's telling Zane that it doesn't matter if Bro. it's happened two times. I'm I'm going to beat you. Oh, he called him out with Firefox! Man, what a game from Cody so far. Back air, dash attack, jab! Mark Killer. Oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh dude. Okay, but remember, Cody was in this exact position last game. Zane took three straight. Yeah. Let's insane. not forget. Zane, very good. <laughs> Is that dead? Yup. Damn. Right. Okay. Even still, it's still a tall order. He's If he wins this on his cap pick here. It's not even over yet. Zane could just shut it out right here. Yeah, let's see. Zane oh, grabbing the forward smash. Shine. Shine. Oh, no. And dropping okay. that shine. Went for a double. Oh, the gods said, angle. Cody, we want this to go the distance. The smash gods themselves. And we're going to a game 17, my friends. Game 17. Count it and read. No. Or is it game 18? Well, this is game, game 18. 18. We are at game 18 right now. Holy <laughs> Four. A first to ten. I'm I'm willing to bet right now that this is one of the first first attempts of this level, like at all. Ever, but yeah. Nine eight. Yeah. Is an insane thing to see. Usually doesn't happen. And now two FD games. He's he's got to do the. It's it's like the Dark Souls God run for this matchup, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is a no hit run. You have to do something very impressive oh, here. Oh my and Cody God! Starts it off with a, with a I, tactical zero to I pray to the melee gods above to give us a game nineteen. I pray. Oh, it would be so nice. Straight down? No, he goes to stage. That's dead. No, he's not Zane. dead yet. Is he not dead yet? Still not Fox dead. Fox is Fox, man. Still Fox not. Is Fox is Is that? No. That was Cody Schwab. Okay, now he's dead. dead. But damn, he took so long. He, 180%. It's it, it's insane how long Cody gets to live. Up throw, up air, knowing Zane's SDI is going to be maybe a little bit shaky. The hands are sweaty wow. on both sides now. They are scared. Oh no. Oh, no. oh the reverse! Somebody misses the follow up! The grab, okay. Cody got. He flew a little too close to the sun there, quite literally. Try to get the up. gimp, and the greed cost him. The greed might have cost him the whole set. He's back up. Greed. Oh. One mistake against Zane, and the stock disappears. Yep. Okay, it's back even Cody just reads him. <laughs> Cody just reads him. Ooh. So careful their spacing. Look at how quickly Cody gets off the ledge. It's actually insane. Shine down tilt. Okay, and now Zane's on the punish again. Cody trying his best to make some recovery. Tipper's oh, gonna do Tipper it. F smash. He gets That's back to here. Oh, down. smart. Okay, no shine, but went for the up tilt instead. Great tick again. 
The drill gets punished. Get oh, there. get up attack. Yeah, this could be dead. Zane could be approaching his last stop that he needs to take to claim the $1,000. Okay, I, like, I like the idea with up B. But, okay. Yes. Set point, everyone hold. Or Cody's... Or Cody does the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Look. Again. We've and seen again. His position a lot. And again. Zane. Oh, but the up row. You know, Zane's he can get tunnel vision. Opportunity here. Oh my god. It's not over and yet. This, he was in this, this exact is, spot versus Mango, wasn't he? Yeah, no, it but, was a very good position that he kind of whiffed away. And I think Zane knows how to beat his past demons right now because he's got Cody at 115. No drill, no F smash. Good grab. Cody, he goes up there. Up there needs he hits to hit. It. Everyone. Dead. I mean. No is, way. Is H this box? H box. It can't happen again. I'm just gonna watch a master at work. Hopefully. Oh my god, he All missed right. the. Openings, I think that's it. But he, I think, I think this edge guard is going to seal it. No, he's, he's got that angle. He hasn't popped Zane's that nervous. angle once yet. Oh, this has to be it. Oh, Cody! What an angle! Oh, up throw. Up throw back Falls with a soft back air. Doesn't go to legs this time. Shorten. No fucking way. Nair, shine. No! Down tilt. Oh! Back air. Cody! Oh my god, the game's even. Dang. Oh! And Zane takes the first to 10 at the salt box to 10 to 8. Oh. The highest level first to 10 you will ever watch. Bro. Holy fuck. Dude! Cody! Was insane. He's deafened. Oh, he's deafened? GG's the same. GG's the same. Bro, can we get a round of applause? Cody, that was the highest level first 10 anyone's ever witnessed. Oh. 7,000 viewers just saw that. I tilted so much the first 10 games. I fucking, I'm such a mental scrub for that. He no, no. Together so I, long. I know you were just one easy, ba like the back, that, that could have easily gone to game 19. It was as close yeah. as you can make it. I'm, I'm, I'm more mad that I'm still being a bitch when I'm playing than anything else. I gotta fucking... I gotta just get it together. I hate when I mentally take myself out. He's so fucking strong if you slip it all. I yeah, can't yeah. let myself do that. Z Zane is like, his focus never he's wavers. So good. He never, it never yeah. wavers. Even when he's like nervous, it seems like he was to locked in and I just kind of clock myself out, which is mad at myself. But he played great. So good shit to him. Yeah, good stuff around. B-Bats, what do you think about that set, dude? That was insane to watch. I think watching the mix-ups occur, you saved so many reads for deep into that set. And I think it's what you said. After the first 10 games, you're probably you were a bit shaky. And then later on, we saw when you got focused, you made these insane comebacks. You made these insane call-outs. And man, that was just wild to witness. You you're like, man, that your your play is insane when the pressure's on. Yeah, it's I think crazy. we just we, we just played so much. We have like what ten thousand slippy files or something. So that'll do it. <laughs> I, just do, I just gotta do a better job to keep him mentally together. He's too fucking good to let yourself slip. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, didn't, I, don't, I think I only took him on Battlefield on his counter picks, so I didn't get it done. I see. Well, man, I mean, you two are so evenly matched. I know you can run that every single time, and it goes back and forth as much as <sighs> it is. But for any viewers watching, for any supporters, do you have any words for them? Your your, your plans this week? Do you want to talk about tell us about? What you're doing for June and all that? Uh, well, I see like 80 people saying, "Why don't we talk to the winner?" It's because he didn't want to hop on call. Otherwise, I would have let the winner talk. I think that should be like kind of obvious, but maybe it's not. Hey, ignore chat. Um, Zane's busy. I'm just, letting, I'm just letting them know. I'm just letting them know. But um, yeah, I'm going to tipped off. I'll uh, take a break in June because I'm super fucking uh, burnt out. I'm like, I need some time to mentally recharge. I think competition takes a lot of mental energy, so. I need to recharge it so I can kind of have a good mindset. Uh, so I can have a good mindset when I go back. Because I can tell that I, when you're burnt out, like, I start getting really emotional and bitchy. So I got to I gotta work on that. But it'll that. be fun. It'll be my last one till July. And then we'll fucking game all July and August. Thanks yeah. for doing this, though. Hopefully, chat enjoyed. Of course, man. Everyone press one for the runs. Arm applause for Cody and Zane.
for a hell of a match. So far, it's been three saltbox sets and only one set has not gone a distance and that was only by one game. So we've seen how many? Nine plus nine plus 18. We've seen 36 games so 36. far. 36, holy. holy fuck. And uh, welcome to the call, both Zomba and MacLeo. Zomba, can you hear me? No. No. <laughs> Leo, how you doing? Hello, Samba. Been good. What about you, bro? I can't. I can't hear either of them. Very quiet. Let me play oh, it I can hear you, Zamba. Can you hear me? Well, I hear you too, Leo. Nice. What's up, Dara? I'm chilling. How about you? How you doing? <gasps> chilling. And there it is. Oh, and uh, real quick, Hbox, uh, and for all the people listening, uh, Zamba and Leo, because they want stage variety, have elected to instead of doing any bands. They want to do oh. random legal stages. Random so I, legal stages. I sent you the list of stages to, to set as legal for the arena so they can both set it to random. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, let's do that. And there it is. So, like, because he gets battlefield. You, you have, like, the premeditated jump. You would look so good like, to just folder. back out of this. Wow. I already have a whole folder of. I can barely hear Zomba. You Twitter traps are full of excuses. Uh, I put both you your volume max. Huh. I hear Zomba fine. All yeah, right. I think it's a uh, you issue, actually. No, it's not a me issue. You, you, you're like, you, you sound lethargic. <laughs> Zomba, can you spell lethargic for me? No. Who was the melee? Who, who was? Oh, I don't know Wait, where's the I? Or... Yeah, he's setting the arena up right now. I'm setting it up. So they want they want to do. Uh... So the, yeah, the the overall stage list I sent it in your Discord DMs is PS2, Smashville, Small Battlefield, Town and City, Final Destination, Hollow Bastion, Kalos, and Battlefield. Okay. And yeah, and Palutena's Temple, of course. You know, it's I <laughs> I, I haven't set this up in a long time for the create arena. Great arena. Have to do this in a it's uh, rules. Uh, stage oh. random uh, in the rotation, then click there rules. Yeah. Oh, wow. Leave it there. Okay. Like leave that menu. Okay. Hit oh. rules. Oh, okay, gotcha. And then click on whichever rule set you have. Yeah, edit. Whichever your three stock seven minute one is. Let's do this. Uh, three stock, seven minutes. Items, make sure all are off. And then stages. PS2. Right. Uh, PS2. I think you're missing Hollow Bastion. Oh, got, we got Hollow there. One, we two, got, three, and we got three, Town here. Six. That's Yeah, that's all eight. We're good. We're good? Yeah. Okay. And there it is. Good. Let's go, Leo. Items off. We're good. All right. Uh... Yes. Then you guys should be able to join up, but uh, I know both of you said that you uh, don't want to be hot mic during the set. So before we kick this off, any words for each other? Zomba, I'm sure you have something. Say something. Do I have something? I mean, I don't know. What else is there to really say? I mean, after our last set, it wasn't particularly close. It was only like what? <laughs> it was only like what? 3-1? It was a 3-1. It's not close. Yeah. Leo, Leo, <laughs> Leo, say something to this kid. Man, what can I say? It was it was a three one. He's right, but uh, he got kind of lucky. You know, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, I should know the Rob better, but but that's fine. Do you have a secret character for this, or are you just gonna rock the ones we always know and love? Uh, I'm gonna rock the ones. Yeah, yeah, it's my age, it's my Olimar. It's a pretty even match. <laughs> but... All right. Fine. Fine, gentlemen. Okay. Making the arena now. Sending you the code. Fantastic. Step into the ring. Are you guys excited for Crown? No. You're not yes, going no. to Crown, are you? I am. I am going to Crown. Oh, I didn't see you in the top eight seeds. That's kind of... Oh... Oh. You're actually like. That's a little. <laughs> what happened? Can someone pop the crown seating? <sighs> you know, you, know? you just like jumped into the call and you, you 
Nintendo. He's a little sad. What's going on, son? Yeah. You didn't okay, buddy? Nah, I mean, I just had a long day, you know? I mean, I, I finished high school. Oh, you know? wow. What Did a long... Did you graduate today? Wait, was that today? <laughs> it's just been a, you know, very long, long day. My God. High school. So, so difficult. Yeah. It's it actually was harder than it college. It's not harder than college at all. No, but you haven't done college. <laughs> What are you talking about? Well, I'm just speaking from experience here. Oh my. Sama, I, I know you have a, a particular opinion uh, about, you know, how how easy it is to uh, to succeed in Smash, you know, and like you're in school versus working full time. You want to tell us about that? <laughs> well, it also depends on the character you pick. You know, uh -huh. like if you play a character that takes even an ounce of talent, like Rob, uh, no matter what you do, it's gonna be always harder than say like someone, uh, like I don't know, living at home doing nothing. That plays they just. Uh huh. So. But yeah, I mean, going to school is a lot easier than doing a work or even like a college. High school is like definitely a lot harder than anything though. Zombo, what was your GPA? Uh. Well, I, I mean, I passed. You take it a second to think about this one. Why do you? I'm uh, a. What's? Why do you, why do you want to share? Talk to us. What was your GPA like? All right. Leo, what was your GPA? The same as a score for this set. Three seven eventually. Please plug in, gentlemen. Right. Get in this arena, Zomba. Yeah. Uh, I don't got the ID. It's in the uh, the salt box match three chat. No, like I need the thing. It's in the chat. I'm, I don't have it. Yes. Uh, oh, hang on. Cause you yeah. got yourself yeah, fucking say, banned Zomba, by spamming me. Zomba, I'm proud of you. Good job on graduating high school, buddy. You did, you did a good job. Thank you. I feel like we need a little bit more positivity. We got like a money match. We have a lot of money on the line. No, I gotta be so nice to each other. I, yeah. Okay. Leo is not saying anything, so I'm trying to like I'm doing my best to insult Zomba. Cause Leo, are you he proud deserves of it. Zomba for graduating. Are you are you happy for him? Talk to us. I'm really happy for him. Yeah, he should focus on school. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> so you're saying you don't think Smash would work out for Zomba? Nah, I, don't know. I got that nah. payoff from Battle of BC. Oh, if I win this, I'm popping off harder than there. Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, why can I hear your game, dude? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna leave. I uh, heard Rob. Okay. No, I, well, I All right, guys. All right, All right. guys. Good luck. Cut the mics, fun. everyone. Good luck. Let's let's read bets really quick. Wow, uh, this is I think yeah, time. People do not believe in you, Zomba. Look at these predictions. <laughs> Eleven million points on the goat, and four point one million on Zomba. Nobody has faith. Nobody has faith in the two peat. What happened? I think that, nobody, nobody thinks I think they're in game mode now. I, wow. I, I will point out, uh, Zombo's victory over Leo at Battle of BC was the first time that Leo has ever lost to a Rob in bracket in all of Ultimate. Really? Life. That was the first ever dropped set to Rob. Well, let me go ahead and get see in if here. he can do it again. Everyone, press one for the run. This is the final potential set of the Saltbox Two. Zombo right, versus LG MK Leo. Oh, it's time. I'm excited. I was looking forward to this match. Thank you for having me on for it. And now it's time to watch potentially. This is the first to turn, right? We have potentially 19 Three, games. Two, 19 a, games. Versus, uh, Go! I'm a little excited about it. I'm going to be starting off in FD. Uh, getting FD first is pretty funny because this is not a good stage for Rob in this matchup. He has a lot of trouble landing, a lot of trouble taking space, because Pyra, or, excuse me, Mithra is so, so fast. He covers so much of the stage, but at least so far, Leo's been unable to get a hit. That's almost a jab reset. Zomba just continues to pile up his damage. 57 already. Uh, I have I have Dara in the castle with max volume right now, so I guess I'll just... Oh, uh, I'll work on it. I'll, I'll try to turn it up. I'll be back in a second. Okay, no worries. Right. Leo, in the meantime, able to fire back a little bit. Gets one Mithra combo off quick. Okay. Yeah, excuse me, I do mean Pam, chat. You are correct. So, stop with Pam. Stop I think Pam is more. I, I tried to make it happen, and when the game first came out, no one liked it. Now everyone likes it. Yeah, because you got to wait for it to be avant-garde. Stupid. 
Aegis is pretty. Yeah. Exactly what I was talking about there too, where like it's just once Aegis gets into uh, advantage state, it's so difficult for Rob to land against her ginormous hitboxes on Pyra or her incredible ground speed as Mithra. So it's it's just so difficult for Rob to do anything once he gets put into advantage. Exactly, and he's he's rocking the Mickey Leo tag, which is also you know he, he's just letting that rock. He's just saying that like off off the dome right here, trying to get into his head early, kills. Mithra, 100%. First stock off there and only 30% extra credit. Not too bad, especially against Layers Mithra. We've seen all too many times just how one stray hit can turn into so much more. Air yeah. dodging back to stage, a little bit risky there if Zomba had been better prepared. Had a chance to do so. Back throw again, laser, goes low, and the oh, footstool okay. from Zomba! He's been practicing that one. He knows, he knows that's exactly what he can hit over and over again as much as he needs to. Zamba goes up to the skies too to wait out Leo's platform invincibility. Very, very smart. Does not want to deal with an invincible Mithra up there coming at you at the speed of sound. Just wants one more chance to maybe come back. But at 94 and off the stage. <laughs> oh, Chad thinks I really hate Zomba. <laughs> I it, we, just travel with him for a little bit, you know. Oh my it's, god. It's a fresh He's dead. He's dead. He has no air dodge. Damn! That was such an awful place to be. That was, that was brutal. It was brutal. That's the first game. Zombo with a two stock to kick things off. And we are at 7k viewers for game one of this set. Man. Dara. I know you, you didn't get a chance to say your piece during that match because you were fixing mic issues, but I'm sure you have a lot to say. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, my bad, y'all. Uh, I was gone for a little bit. I'm not at my usual setup, so uh, I'm just figuring stuff out. That was really cool uh, for the last stock that I actually was able to catch. I, I just think, I don't know, dude. Uh, Leo is the one that needs to act more than Zombo, you know what I mean? Like. Zamba is currently the, the, the defending winner of this matchup One, offline. So this go. is it is online, but he's got a he's got to fight back hard here. Yeah. Also, by the way, like this is a bit of a throwback, I guess, to like the Wi-Fi of Smash. It just like I feel like it was talked about before about like how Leo consistently like on Wi-Fi was never really like placing like top eight, and then like when we did get back into the swing of things, like that was like a year and a half ago already. Uh, then he started reminding people why he is as good as he is. Right? So, exactly. Um, I feel like that is a fairly important factor to consider. We'll see, because we, we have a lot more games to go in this set regardless. Even if Zomba completely stomps, he's still got to win nine more. Yeah, we are just getting started, honestly. And Talos for game two already is interesting. Yeah, I don't think this stage actually benefits either one of these characters all that much. Rob can very much control offstage. Uh, but I, I think this one's pretty neutral. Oh, wait, wait. They're doing random neutrals, aren't they? Yeah, it is. It is random oh, neutrals. Oh, okay. So random. Oh, the the, the, the gods decide it, and Zamba takes game stock one again. Yeah, uh, I gotta say, Zamba's, like, edge guarding on Aegis has just been so good. Like, you just, like, you wanna focus out that double jump. Oh, they double jumped right into the dragon. Okay, goodbye. That's a stock gone at, like, any point that you want it to be. And, oh, catching another double jump that Zamba almost had something huge. Uh, if he was just able to do, like, another Z drop, Jago neutral. But, um, it's just, it's so critical for this matchup, too, because if you're not consistently killing Aegis, you know, sub 80, sub 90%, oh. you have to fight Aegis more, and nobody wants to play neutral against a character like Aegis more than they have to. Leo barely going to grab onto the ledge this time around, but he's significantly the worst for wear as Zomba is still on his first stock, and he very nearly finds that up smash to close it out. The, the worst Zomba part is it, if, if Zomba wins this dominantly, this first 10, Mickey Leo will, will stick, and he does not want that to stick. No one does. Uh, Leo also saying uh, he wants to use this set for content, is what he told me earlier. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if he'll want to post this if it goes that way. There, There is a universe where it's O10, right? 
There is a small universe that happens. There is a universe. Oh my god. I don't but, know if it's a universe where we want to live in because I don't want to live in. Incredibly universe. smug after the fact. Uh, it just it, it would it would just we just. I feel like Zamba is constantly smug. Like that's his whole shtick. He, like he's smug when he loses, but when he wins, he's like he's he's more. After he uh he beat Big Boss at Battle of VC, uh, cause he was uh, he was in me and Riddle's room for that event. Right. He like the entire night he was like, Yo, did you guys see me get that in like that game five? Yo, did you guys see like me against Big Boss? Yo, did you? I mean, when you can talk, when you can back it up, you can talk it, right? If you can walk it, you can talk it. And Zamba, two stocks to one, healthy lead on game two. Trying to double his wins already. He was totally behind him. Zamba thought that he could get that grab out of shield. Look how much like punish like Leo is getting off of like that one missed grab. This is why it's like so difficult to play Rob into this kind of a matchup in general. Landing against Aegis as anybody is so hard. Landing as Rob Ooh. against Aegis. Zamba was in disadvantage that whole time. He was. Hey, okay. down to the last dog again too. Has the gyro in hand. Zamba pressuring it, missing that nair, but the foresight leading into Zamba's grab. Photon edge for safety back to neutral. For the poke on the landing nair, but not going to get it. So Zamba stays safe in his shield, and Leo has been, despite a couple good opportunities, unable to get a single hit off, uh, a single significant hit off of Zamba on the stock. As he just continues to hemorrhage more and more per set. Zamba gets closer what and closer to that 2 0 lead. That can't work. throw could be it. No, F throw instead for the edge guard. Okay, air dodge, Ooh. clever. I like it. Yeah, so well timed too. Able to get past the poison. That's gonna catch the mistech as well. Leo now gonna be looking for maybe some sort of an up to try to get this juggle going, but Zampa lands successfully, lands nice and safely, and Leo almost followed up off of that too. <gasps> Again? Double dare into fair, not nearly enough to kill Rob at this percent, but what it is nearly enough to do is even up this game, and then Leo finds Zamba landing still, not the end. Oh my god, it could be. Yeah, Leo's just backing off, giving him a little bit more space, just saying, you know what, buddy, if you dash in, you're gonna eat it back here or something. Zamba. He's so close. Both of them are. That almost took it off the top. 140 to 141. Zamba takes another slight percent lead by sending Leo onto that side platform with his projectiles, but Leo's gonna try and quickly regain center stage. Oh, an opportunity for a grab. Both of them missed their opportunities. Oh! We have a set! Thank God, I was, for a little bit, I was a little afraid. I, I need, I need the bloody knuckles. That's what I need. Did Zamba press something? Why was he, did he just like get hit out of shield through pressing the gyro? Why did he get hit out of shield? Um, I, it looked to me like it poked, because his shield was tiny. Not too mm. sure. Man, we need okay. replays. We need that HO3K tech. Yeah, we do. The in instant replay will be nasty. And yes, for those who are wondering, this is a first to 10. Winner gets $1,000. Loser gets nothing. Made fun of. Roasted. That game, that was like such a good comeback for Leo. That entirely like second stop. I mean, you know, off of like that one mistake that Zamba did, Leo just was like, okay, cool. I'm going to deal 90 damage and I'm going to do this the entire time. Um, and then, like, Zamba, like, missed out on, like, one edge guard, right? That entire last stock. And then, again, just Leo, he just, like, kept playing, like, safe. And kept backing off a little bit. Um, so they're going to hollow back this time around. Uh, the random has picked uh, it as such. And this is, like, a super different stage. Right? We had FD, we had Kalos, like, big open space. This is going to be different for I feel like Leo can have so much more presence in, like, center stage, especially when it comes to, like, continuing combos off of that like, center play. Yep. And apparently our salt box has currently more viewers than Amaran. Good stuff, guys. 7,500 viewers and counting. We're actually, we're, we're, we're way up there right now. Ooh, great tech by Leo in order to recover, but not enough because there's a special <laughs> fall and then Zomba's able to just quickly side you. Let's go, Smash Bros. Regardless. There's a big H box. That's an objective measure that people find you more attractive than Amaran. Well, I, I, I've, been, means, I've, right? I've been new. I, I, I've known this for a while. You know? This it's isn't a, new information. It's, it's, it's a gift. It's simply a gift. But honestly, I think uh, Leo and Zamba duking it out. Uh, any level of small trash talk between two top players, this is, is the distance that it goes. It's pretty amazing. Down tilt up air, but Zamba too far outside of the percent range. Leo comes down with Nair, knowing that Zamba's probably going to try and swing with an anti-air. 
Samba, as this set's going on, and we're, we're so far from the end of it regardless, but as right. this set's going on, Zamba's playing more and more defensively in shield. I think yeah. Leo is making him more and more scared of just Aegis advantage state in general. I was gonna say, like, Zamba is, like, absolutely slowing down this gameplay. You can see, like, his hesitation to act immediately out of shield now, right? Leo hits him, and then he's like, okay, you know, I'm gonna wait for the next thing that you're gonna press. You keep on catching me on that second option. And that time around, Zamba actually may be getting shield pushed by Aegis neutrally. That feels bad. It happens to the best of us. You think you're gonna shield it, you think you're gonna be fine, and then, and then you're not. But he still finds the grab. He gets the back throw, scouts out the double jump, and that should be the edge guard. Just so precise, but actually slipping in under the down smash and still makes it back onto the stage. That felt like that should have been Zamba stop. It's a thing that's so difficult in this matchup is like, sure, you can kill Aegis off of one single mistake or one burned resource off stage, but you have to hit everything. You have to hit three, basically three snipes in a row. The down smash, the gyro, and the laser, or else you're not going to be able to get the stock. And Zamba just misses one critical down smash. Leo gets away with it, and he's actually on the brink of taking that stock and the lead in the game. Zamba into shield again, dashes back into corner to avoid the back air. Oh, that Ooh. Ooh. Okay. okay, down in the top, not going to be able to do it yet. Leo just again backing off a little bit, going for a lot of retreating fade back back hills and stuff, but now he has oh. to use up his double jump. That's going to be it. Zamba just ready for it. Leo tried to go for like the highly heavily mix up just in case Zamba pressed something that he shouldn't. Uh, but at that point, it's basically checkmate on that stuff. There's up. nothing that you can do. Up air to read, and yes, we will be uploading all these sets to YouTube uh, as soon as they're all over, hopefully by tomorrow. So, yeah. You and I both know that Shia works faster than the Flash. The yeah, it's out insane. Before, like, the, we even close stream out. The turnover. Oh, dash attack. A very risky option. When Leo's at low percent, he knows he can risk it. And that time, Pyra back air definitely shield poked Zamba. Falling up there for the combo. For he is across the stage, pressing Z drop neutrally, just looking to maybe catch Leo dash into something. Uh, and now tries to go for it again, but Leo, um, all the way like above and diagonally above him, not even close to getting hit by the gyro, and then pushes in a little bit too much. Oh! Dash attack. Is, oh no! Spinning arms. Oh, no. oh foresight! <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> it wasn't enough at all. What was that game? Oh, was the the None of it was enough to get Leo to the ledge. And Zamba takes game number three. Oh my goodness. I mean, they're, they're playing it patiently and respectfully as they should with this matchup. But man, the foresight almost working against him in that favor. Yeah, that was that was a little bit tragic. So he still had like a double jump before he used foresight. Or am I like this he, he just like was like, you know what, I'm gonna air dodge. If that was just like a regular directional air dodge, that would have probably saved him and not put him down so far. That reminds me of like, you know, like when a Bayonetta like uh, accidentally like bats within off stage, and then she's like all the way down there, and it's like, okay, well now I guess I can't make it back, even if I successfully used my mechanic against it. Exactly. Could have been it. Nashville is the stage this time is so good for Leo in this matchup. Rob, a big body character that gets comboed easily, now stuck against one of the fastest characters in the game in close quarters. This is terrible for him. Zamba's probably pulling for a stage along the lines of PS2. Uh, maybe small battlefield, depending on how he personally feels about it, or uh, or maybe even town. Leo's definitely pulling for these smaller stages. I'm wondering when the Byleth is going to come out, if, if, if at all, right? Because it seems like still like a, like a valid pick. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Byleth Rob myself. I don't think it's necessarily like bad matchup. I just don't think it's a great matchup. And despite what it looks like here, Age of Farm. It's one of his worst. What about Zamba Meta is just playing this incredibly. Yeah, I think Zamba's just like really pushing his win condition, right? which is, hey, Ooh. I get you off stage. Theoretically, I can make the stock happen at any point in time. But that's going to be Leo now going up with a lead. I feel like this is the first time we've actually seen with Leo with a lead as good as this thus far. Usually, he's the one that has to do a bit of a comeback the last couple of games, usually doing a bit of catch up. But now, using up his double jump, Zamba almost oh. in the lane, not able to make it back to the ledge. That's going to be Zamba's, uh, you know, getting up the stop count. Notice again, Zamba once again uses that burner boost to stall up in the air away from Leo while he's invincible. Does not want to give him any small edge as long as he can avoid it. Very smart. 
You know what? Love that option. Just holding on to F smash. He's not hit flesh. And leg and if Zomba just falls asleep. Yeah, exactly. He's just gonna get hit at the ledge too. So why not? Just go he just he just did down tilt full hop air dodge. Uh, he is either the smartest person in the world or that was a misinput. Because I don't know what the point of that option is. It could have been just like a quick. I'm gonna see if he pushes the button. Oh and get out of damn! Reaction. But that's definitely going to get you out of something. That connects. Oh! Something <laughs> bad. Oh my god! Wait a minute! This chance to go up three to one right here. Oh my god! Huge dunk from Zamba. And Zamba almost had like that track down up there as well. He was going through something a little bit funny that him off stage. But Leo fighting back, tries to call out that jump. Not gonna be able to happen. And then just tries to continue his shield pressure. Zamba's roll away then. That was so smart. He was able to escape that pressure. He was able to reset the situation. And then I think he actually tossed the charge the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. This position that Leo was in was almost so bad, but then he got knocked back just far enough that he could mash up B out of that situation. I think that last down tilt win. I see somebody in chat saying every time Leo's off stage, he dies, and I would like to say welcome to fighting somebody who plays the Aegis match correctly. This is what should happen against every Aegis. Very true. Big facts. Oh! 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 Okay. Uh, the yeah! This one. yeah. Down, uh, down air through the platform on both Hollow Bastion and Smashville is huge for Pyra. It's so easy to combo into up smash. And actually, at lower percents, can even combo into F smash. It is a very, very strong option, and you do not want to be caught by a Pyra landing it. Not even by a little bit. Two to two. Dead even. You know what was crazy about that last, like, entire interaction? The fact that Leo jumped in right into Zomba's laser, and then by the time that he was pressing down to the laser completely went over his head and didn't hit. Like, Leo almost got hit. That interaction would have gone a completely different way. Zomba had a good idea of it. And then the laser just simply didn't connect. He got down tilted, and then Aegis things kind of happened to him. Yeah, uh, uh, among all the other things that make Aegis an incredible character, they're pretty dang good at perk box shifting. So they can crouch under stuff like that. They can turn horizontal in the air to get around certain things. They, they get around stuff. Okay. Ooh. And, hey, remember what I said, like, literally last game that Zomba probably won in town and city? Dude. Good lord. Fast. There's nothing that you can do about it at that point. Like, okay, three stocks to two. Let's yeah. just play the game. Fastest stock of the night. Oh, my. Oh, he oh, got hit by it still. And the upper to fall through. Zomba in complete control this match. Got such a huge lead. He's already lapped Leo in percents on the second stock. He needs to fire back quickly, but oh, yeah. he can get in. Zamba's got to be careful of that. He knows it too. You see how far back Zamba's playing with this gyro right now. He's just waiting for Leo to swing and miss. This time he doesn't, though. It's just one there. Oh, not able to get the double down tilt. MK Leo able to successfully punish him out of shield for just slightly missing his timing on that. Getting that one up, and now this is the challenge. How do you actually no. land this goal? Oh! <laughs> the back air follow through, dude. The follow up from Leo was just a split second too slow, so Zama was able to fire off a drag down up air back air. I've never seen. I've never even seen up air back air hit before, let alone Ira miss down air up smash like that. Cause uh, Leo might be in trouble here, lads. Zama different. Well, that was a stock. Uh, both of the stocks that have been taken through Leo have been might stocks. Be. Oh, but that was such a good up end. That was like such a like a good call out, right? Because that was the only thing that Leo could have done to stop Zama. One fifty-seven. Oh, F throw here. Not going to be enough to kill, but it should set up for one if Leo can get the. Well, no, Zamba actually incredibly smartly recovering very close underneath because Leo is definitely looking for Mithra up B to edge guard there. And Zamba was like, nope, I'm just staying out of the range. I'm just going to wait. I don't have to be there. I don't have to be involved. Infinite recovery type B. Don't have to, don't have to engage. Pretty oh, much. That might be it. That might be oh! it. Oh! It's very close. This might be it for sure, though. Oh, yeah. three stock! Oh, shit. The mood just got real. This is why I'm slightly worried because it seems that Zamba fully has Leo's Aegis 
figured out. But Leo kind of has shown himself to be pretty stubborn when it comes to character picks recently. Even though he has so many characters at his disposal that can work here and can also throw off Zomba's adaptations, I can swap on to them. Can someone clip that three stock so I can post to Twitter to instigate and get more viewers? Ready? And the content creator <laughs> through and through. It'll work. We can, we can hit 8K. I promise. It's all about the content. We can hit 8K? What, what did 8K do wrong? No, 8K. Shut up. There we go. Three, two, Next game. One, game number. Uh, go. Game number six. Oh my God. Smashville. I went by so fast. See, chat, you're saying go Ike as a joke, but Hbox, do you remember the triple F smash on Zomba at Collision? Yes. Maybe Ike it might not be the worst idea. I Ike did win for a bit. Oh my God. Well. Uh, Any words, anybody in this call? Because I'm, I'm yeah, at the last no, I, I don't have a lot of words for this besides, damn, uh, Leo is dying off stage a lot, and he is dying like, you know, it was like a fifty percent like death rate off stage at this point. Like no every time, what he's like, like, what happens. Remember, uh, Leo like, does not. Leo like goes outside of the ledges, he dies. Leo does not have to stay ages for those viewing. He, he has, they can, they can go any character they want. And yet he's choosing to stick it out. And honestly, I mean, like, when he is actually in neutral, when he is successfully juggling Zomba, he's doing a phenomenal job, mind you. It is just that, you know, Zomba's just getting so much more mileage off of just the first couple of weeks. He's able to push his advantage that much. Uh, but now, oh my god, what an edge guard. He's using up B to edge guard all the way off stage so deep because he can't really contest Rob that deep otherwise. That's like No, it's uh that point. it's basically a suicide mission to go off and get Rob like that without a plan to return back to stage to Leo instead staying on stage and eventually finding that oh. gentleman jab. Oh he's my dead. god. He's dead, he's so dead. Oh, wait, so he got it. wait. Zomba missed. For the first time in a while, Zomba missed. He went a little bit too low. Leo made it back onto the stage. He got a couple of up tilts, didn't fully combo it into the upbeat, and now he's getting a lot of damage. He is back on the stage. He's playing the game with a little bit more confidence now. Hold on. I can't believe that down tilt hit. I can't believe that almost killed. That should show you, though, how good Zomba's been doing throughout that set, that I was so fully convinced that Leo was dead no matter what, that I was that surprised that Zomba missed any. What a switch. That switch was huge. He made it back onto the stage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did that have killed? Uh, no. I don't think so. But that felt a little bit too soon. I was gonna say that DI was a. Uh... It felt early, but who knows in this game? Leo certainly looking to just move past it, trying to get this KO. Zomba's second stock. Looking for a down tilted ledge to two frame the air dodge back. Not gonna happen. Dash tag. Definitely needs this dub right here. And I just, oh, oh, Leo got good too. Zomba had the red idea with the grab. You know, he did get like 200 punish points. He got 50 points on top of that exchange, anyways. Almost getting that down tilt as well. Almost too cleaning Leo, but he made it back onto the stage. F Leo dash attack. Not gonna get a juggle stunned as well. Leo is stunned to like really pick it up, especially at the ledge. Falling back here, back to the stage. Zomba again, movement off stage so, so oh! clean, but here it comes. That almost connected. Not going to be able to get the up air off of it, but it's still plenty of damage from those two hits. And Leo manages for the first time in a while to take a very slight percent lead. See if he can do anything with it, though, because Zomba's certainly been the one who's killing significantly earlier than he is. Looks for the up smash and might pay for it with the game. Okay, but he goes for the BB to cover. He makes it back onto the stage. Leo still gets hit from behind with a dash attack. Zava looking for the up and doesn't find it. Leo gets oh! it. Oh! But what? No. what was that? Why did he get oh! the He misses the grab! Oh, both of these guys whiffing kill moves like crazy. Zava gets the oh! What? Leo goes with oh my game. god, how did he live? How did Bob. he not connect? How did the up not kill? I don't know! Bob is so oh no! That's gonna be it! That's gonna be it! That's gonna be it! Way to get back to stage past this. Wait, he made it back. What the fuck? Every time I'm convinced he's done, he shows me another layer to the mix up off stage. Zomba goes for the dare, but just oh. does not connect. Does not oh. get the right timing, Whoa. but does get the right timing on the up air. Damn. Damn. I thought he that, had that. That up beat back air, that was like almost a trade. That would have been a brutal trade. I thought I thought that was Zomba's back air that connected, not Leo's so up did I, I, saw, I saw the kill screen and I was like, ah, yes, Zombear. 
We all thought it. Hey, so fun fact. We all felt it. We are we are the we are in the top forty most viewed Twitch channel right now. Oh my god, I feel so special, so honored. Good stuff, Smash Bros. And right now, okay. Leo might need to change his game plan. He will get back out of the arena. Oh, Byleth! There it is. Here we go. Here we go. My beloved. What I wanted. If we get 200 subs, we will have the Kirash versus DD Game 5 showdown. We're 27 subs away, so if you want to see one more Salt Fox set to this, that is the sub goal we have. Leo already having to deal with the significantly lower speed factor on Violet compared to Mithra. Oh, yeah. Having to do that stutter step shield to deal with Zombus projectiles instead of just dashing in and overwhelming him. I feel like a lot of Leo's game time the last couple of games have just been sort of getting that mid range with Zamba and bait out something like Jyla so that he can jump over the and get some sort of punish. That was a lot of Leo's approach options. And oh my god, almost catching that landing with an F smash as well. I do feel like Leo is now holding on to Santu a little bit more comfortably now. But uh, I feel like the biggest advantage of put in the Switch is that getting back to stage will not be as often uh, as it was in the previous match. Yeah, that's obviously going to be the, the big plus in Leo's favor. Bio is much, much more difficult to edge guard. So Zomb is going to have to work a lot harder for those kills. Oof. At least off stage, but on stage, he's showing definitely still goes wow. toe -to -toe, when it comes to catching landings. I mean, nobody does it as well as both Byleth and Aegis, so like that aspect of the game is going to be staying the same. Leo is looking so good, he got that full stock off. Now he has to use that double jump. Love that elite dodge, but Zamba still able to Oh! Deep off the side. Wow. All because he used up that double jump. He's up that double jump. He thought that he could like mix up Samba, but he didn't fall fast enough uh, to actually grab up the damage and thus the dash attack is really I'm correcting. I see yeah, I'm so frequently from from Leo and from like the people who manage to catch Leo is he goes for like that one extra layer of mix up, but Zamba confident enough to just be like, uh, no, I'm not gonna panic because Leo feeds so much off of that panic. Catches Gyro, tosses it back. They are just doing well. And it, it seems like Byleth is like this is a much more difficult character to actually cheese with Rob, right? Like Pyra and Mithra, they they are victims to gravity, right? But Byleth with that grapple doesn't seem to care as much. So it can actually go off state a little more. Whoa! That scoop with my my Byleth up smash does not scoop that far. That's yeah. not fair. Well, he, Check Leo's switch. He's just, he's just different. Fox is a little bit too fun to the with that fail not doing so much work. Air grab, down throw fair, nice bread and butter at low percent. And the question remains, why go Aegis when you have this beast in your roster, right? Dude, this is so much damage off of just one neutral win. Now gets the toss of the gyro, oh. tries to pop Samba into the dare, not gonna get it. Oh Rinse my. And Air dash attack, not enough to KO yet. This is the challenge again. How do you actually win? Oh. <laughs> Jump after him, he didn't go fucking up. He was like, okay, buddy, do it. Lane in front of my face. Oh, Zabba with the demonstrate. Leo with punished him with a down tilt, and then he got his kill confirmed. He is. It really, on FD, as Rob, we talked about this in game one. This game, what is this, game seven? That was awful. Zabba could not land. Yeah. That was definitely, like, <laughs> Leo kind of proving the doubters right, almost. <laughs> he was, okay, Aegis isn't working. Here's Byleth, and then a two star. <laughs> There it is. All right. Down a game, though. Still has a lot of work to do to make this up. And both of them, Zamba has six more to go. Leo has seven. He's still got plenty of action left in this set. Yeah, and, and there's, you know, a little bit of adjustment to be had, of course, right? This is also Zamba now, like, I want to warm up into this matchup, but uh, this is not exactly the stage I want to go to if I'm Zamba. We saw the difficulties landing. We saw, you know, the couple of stocks that Leo was able to pick up off of this. Um, but right now, Zamba is putting on the pressure. Uh, but I love that up into the Leo just to pull Zamba back off of it. I see Zamba going for those, like, close to ledge trap setups a lot. I'm wondering if we're going to start seeing Leo do ledge drop up these shenanigans very soon, because he's he's been very fond of that sort of stuff in the past. That can certainly catch a big body unprepared if they're sitting too close to the ledge, but Z-Drop Nair instead, building up this damage some more. 
Oh, such good question. Like, specifically, a much better response from Zomba. He responded to that so well, he fought his way out of it, but now, the same issue. How do you actually land? He went to the left, he was able to get back down. The Jago actually helping Zomba to reset neutral. The Leia has been so good at actually catching and taking that Jago away from Zomba. Yeah, despite... Oh, yeah, you're gone. See ya. Uh, despite the, the amount of struggles that Leo has been having against Zomba, both in this set and just in the past uh, at Battle of BC, he is definitely one of the most experienced players against Rob in general, just by virtue of his main practice partner being MK Big Boss. So he, if nothing else, knows how to control Gyro, but he definitely doesn't know you shouldn't Damn. play grab ledge right underneath Zomba. Oh, yeah, not enough for that to actually not the way Zomba fucking off. And now, look at what's happening. Oh you get a Jago combo. Oh my god. He's getting back. That was almost the stop. Leo makes it back on, but look at the cost. <laughs> Some people in this chat, including me, got hit by that. I, I, I'm i already dead. I'm already down two stocks. Good grab from Leo. Yeah, looking through that foil really again, but he was still able to back off and reposition. And again, he's looking through that same thing. He's looking to bait out that laser. He's looking to punish it. That time was up. He wasn't so lucky. He just kind of ended up dashing into it. I don't know what Zola's doing. I don't know what he's doing. He's running up to Leo and doing a drag down up. What is he looking for? Oh, oh, yeah. Drag down up air, clearly. Yeah, but it's, when you're when you're that aware of it, you can just put whatever mix up you want. I, yeah, I love the fact that Leo is actually low profiling things with Violet Crouch to set up for down tilt up air. F throw here. Great stage positioning. I think Violet deserves a kill throw. Who's with me? No, I'm okay on that. This, this is fine. This is okay. We don't need this. Give Byleth mute, mute up throw. Fair about him. And, okay. and, a, and a tether grab. Thank you. Yeah. I would love it. Oh, does not love that, though. Ooh, the arrow oh, again. Yes, oh, my God. There's the tether. That's smart. Let's the gyro hit him so it falls off. Yeah, able to make it back on. He took stage away from Zombo. That's a massive neutral. He tosses out the gyro, though, and he's still ledge grabbing. He's getting another one. Yo, that is so skilly. He's trying to bait an early dodge from Zombo. If you set up that kind of a 50-50, you can get a four and can take a stock off so early uh, as by. But that's going to be a down Ooh, Ooh, what a reversal from Leo gets the grab. Oh what my god. Kind of mash gets you out of that in time. Up throw here is certainly going to be the stock. It will, Man. it will kill, but Leo with a few good reads will even out this first attempt at four games apiece. Goes for the back throw, waits for the option on Zamba. Who finds the back air? Leo classic. We have an even set, ladies and gentlemen. No, Damn. He, dashed out. he baited the ledge option. He forced Samba to pick something just by moving around him, and then he was able water. to punish that option and get the stock off. That was so well played from Leo. That was beautiful. And uh, to uh, to address the allegations in chat, I don't play Overwatch. Leave me alone. Luminosity Gaming though, showing up and showing their support to their 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 star player, or one of their like fifteen thousand star players. They've got so many. They're picking <laughs> they, up everybody. They got a lot of star players. I uh, I played Overwatch one time at my friend's house, and I played Widowmaker because I'm an opper in CS:GO, so I wanted to play the sniper. Uh, and I had so little fun that I never played it again. You know, this is this is what happens when you It's all hell. I start talking about Overwatch. Yeah. I can't believe this. I can't believe that this is happening. But let's get into this game. We got game number nine happening. It's 40 to 40 at this point. This violent switch is huge. How do you how do you feel about it so far? Uh, I feel fantastic. I feel Before, amazing. I've been supporter. saying I've been telling him to go violent. Just I've been telling him to go violent. We all have been telling him. At uh at out of VC on day three when he started in losers, I was like, hey man, pilot please. Chat, press one if you want a fifth. Salt box set tonight. We're only 22 subs away from it. So if you have a prime or a gift or a whale and you want to see it for one bonus set, 8,000 viewers and counting. Leo looking way more comfy right now. Yeah, his, his avoidance, even though he's on a slower character, even though he's on somebody who maybe might be considered to have a oh, more oh, oh, state. God! 
that down if it doesn't matter. How do it does not matter? He's gonna take it up and back right. The blast zone, you know, the other blast line to be triggered. He has plenty of upbeat fuel. That spike meant nothing to him. Here's the thing though, Dara. Because Zomba got hit by upbeat dare, that means he's holding in on upbeat because he's scared of back air and side beat. And now, that means Leo knows he's scared of upbeat and he's gonna start going for that option more. Oh, the forward smash! He's back in control! Look at this! And Cognac with 10 gifted, thank you! Oh, as Leo is cooking, so is the chat. Up tilt, up B! Oh, up B, <laughs> side B, catches Zomba, so much damage. Now Scoop the him up. Again versus Leo. He's the landing hitbox. So so the landing in the hitbox. Zomba thought that he was safe, but alas, the third last one actually ended up catching him. But now, huge tech chase. After the third bit of stage control, voices out the double jump. Now starting a ledge trap of his own. That's going to be a lead grab. Zomba yeah. tries to punish it, but I love that Leo just like stayed delayed and waited. Let's see what happens. Oh, Trying to knock that gyro away from ledge. Side B doesn't Dang. do it, but Zomba's side B certainly does. If he cl That's what an game. answer. If if Zomba clutches this game, did I curse it? Zero Bastion, he's well. off stage! Cognac with 10 more! Sees again, thank you, Cognac! Here comes the gyro. Oh, so much damage! And we have hit our goal. We officially have a fifth set incoming last if you want to let Kia Rash and Didi know please do oh! <laughs> once again nobody else's bio up smash hits like that it's just him it's just Leo. oh my god Samba almost made that comeback that was almost huge Breeze monkey unless of course Jordan and Natoro want to do cross country but I doubt it Didi and Kia Rash were trash talking we got to see it happen D Steve versus Luigi <laughs> With Lugi comms so down. Damn, Z Leo just took three in a row with Byleth. Three in a row. Yeah, like now the fact that like Sansa like, can't like, really, like snatch those like stocks away like off stage just by virtue of Byleth having one more level of a recovery mix up, you are reducing three, the probability of getting two, that much more, one, right? And go. you're still able to do the thing that Rob struggles so much with, which is landing against Byleth and Aegis. And I gotta say, the advantage shade from Leo has just been a little bit more consistent as well. Um, you know, getting all of his combos, getting all of his damage as well. Zamba already 73%, 15 seconds into the game. Getting anti aired by MK Leo's own neutral as well. Finally getting a hit of his own, but at what cost? Uh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Nothing but side B. That's... God, Ultimate is such a fucking funny game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comedic show. Oh! <laughs> what is going on with this set? This? What a clap back! Sometimes you just get spiked, man. There's nothing to say. I'm stunned. I'm befuddled. I am flabbergasted. Holy shit. What a way for us to go to 5 5, right? If this could also go. I cannot believe how close all four of these sets have been. It's incredible. Oh my god. Oh no! Yeah, okay, sure. Uh. This is Why going the, the distance. Reset the score. It's a new set. It's zero zero first to five. <laughs> it's going the full. Oh, hundred dollar donation to add to the prize pool. Didi versus Kirash is now a two hundred dollar pot. Holy! Shout out to uh, to Cross Slash. That's the uh, that's the TO of Battle for the South. Dude. Down in Southern Valdosta, Georgia. Put a CS for Cross Slash. What an insane night. Uh, speaking of whom, hi, Didi. Yeah, shadows like that who don't even 100. No, I'm not a speak. <laughs> but I wouldn't be taking that feedback. Don't worry. Didi, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be hearing from you after this set. Prepare for your match against Kiarash for the grand closer. <laughs> just jumped into the goal. That's what he does. Taking the money and left. Yeah, he, His he, voice, too. It definitely <laughs> sounded like Didi might have been asleep before that. <laughs> and there's It's just bedtime. Didi, where's Didi? He's gone. All right, we're on a different set. I'll call you later. I told you. Okay. No holding in this time. 
Oh, side B again. Up into the side B. Oh. oh, that was such an important key to me. That was the only way that he could have got him off of him. Zamba still pressing the side B uh, and ended up with it. That was the world's most buffered online side B. Leo catching the gyro, getting back on stage with the get up attack as well. Such is what happens. With it happens to the best. We've all pressed a funny little lagging option. Uh, an entirely five seconds after the events. Run in there has been such a money maker for Leo throughout this set. I'm actually surprised there was no puppy for that one, but instead it's in there to punish the whiff up smash. Zamba gets a laser off though. Okay, look at that. Just landing in a little bit too slow on that. And Zamba finding the back hill, catching Leo out of shield yet again. And now 83%. This is about the point where a couple more hits, and Leo's gonna start finding his funny little hill. Downhill, yep. uh, little up smash. We have seen the amount of times his up smash. Oh my lord. No Stradar Amgaris. God, I feel so good about this. Damn. That's what I mean. This is the up tilt this time around. Though Zamba's able to get the landing there off, and he's converting it into quite a string. Leo jumps high, almost gets caught with the neutral air dodge, and gets him back onto the platform, and then onto the stage right after. Zamba missing the tech chase. That's going to be an up B, but no follow up off of it. Great DI mix from Zamba. Yeah, that time around, uh, he wasn't holding it. He was a little bit panicky before, right? We talked about like that up B spike. This time around, he is nice and alive. But Zamba, the biggest question is, how do you actually get in? Leo is dominating the space. Lazu is the option. And looking for an early dodge, not able to actually find that. Uh, but still gets Leo off stage. Really big trade for Zamba. Still keeping him stuck in the corner. Such a good catch with the gyro. And now Leo has put himself back into control. Wow. I'd argue that that trade was actually better for Leo because it sent Zamba just far enough off stage that he was able to at least get away from a ledge trap. And because he wasn't getting ledge trapped, he yeah. was instead just like fighting out of the corner. Leo was significantly more comfortable there. And gets an up beat. Oh, and dude. Gets the falling up the air fight of the up air. Out of Zamba's up air. So unfortunate for Zamba because that certainly would have been the stock. It would have been. And look at that. Leo goes up six to five right now. This violence switch. How many games is that? Oh, well, we to demonstrate. Uh, it's one now because he won three, then lost the the I five five tie for Zamba. I forgot. The, I forgot about that game. Okay, it was just it's like okay, Dara. It was so fast. Like you might have blinked and missed it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this game was Leo again, just like playing really safely. It felt like he was sort of the one that was commencing and dominating. Uh, the neutral, right? It felt like there was a good amount of points in that game where Zamba didn't really know how to get in on Leo. Uh, especially when Leo had a Jago in hand. Leo's just been catching it and like using it against Zamba defensively. So well, I feel like. 100% agreed. This time we're on Battlefield though, and you'll remember that fast game. It take place on the stage. We, we did Leo remember. Leo that one up with about 85% on Zomba unanswered, and then Zomba just decided to kill. To see if that happens again, or some facsimile of their end. Okay. Oh, he's about to get sandwiched, and almost did see that Chaga almost hit Leo right back into Zomba. Zomba was so good he pulled it, but it does not matter. Able to get that dash grab out of the down tilts. I don't think he intended to do the boosts laser like that. Ended up actually not sending it off stage, and Leo was like, okay, you shot it in the wrong direction, that's fine. This is my match cap, buddy. I'm going to get a little something. But Zomba actually maneuvers the way back down and almost gets that up smash, but a little bit too fun to the side. Yep. Can we talk about how good Leo is in tech chases on platforms? It was a little bit ago now. But he was able oh. to set up that entire sequence by getting the tech chase back air onto Zamba when he reset on that side platform. All of this came from that one tech chase. He's so, so good at calling out those options. And Zamba, not quite dead, but he's knocking on the door for sure. Yeah, he was go. What an arrow! So nice. Also, for those of you wondering, uh, ads are automatic and con con contractual from Liquid and Twitch. If you don't want to miss a potential last stock game 19, I suggest one of two things. Get ad block or sub. Otherwise, shut up and enjoy the free content. It is, that is it. It's automatic, it's, it is what it is. Please, gladly use ad block if you want, I don't care. Just don't complain at me, it's automatic. Oh! oh! Yeah, that's Okay. Leo, though, demonstrating that insane mash on Zomba's down throw again. You'll notice Zomba stopped going for down throw after that time uh, oh! games ago because Leo mashes out so fast and Leo also gets that down smash out so fast to pop Zomba. Yo. 
Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 what's Leo looking for with the town? And I have no idea, but that new trailer is actually going to be hitting onto the stage. The back hit almost ended up catching Leo at the last moment, but he made it back onto the stage. The trip actually saved him. Anyway. I'm kind of amazed that Zomba didn't get caught by that uh, down tilt on his way back to stage, and I'm amazed that Leo didn't get caught by the back air. God He's of spacing right here. Making, making magic happen. Yeah, but beautiful little up uh, for Leo, able to take off that stock. Now he is up two stocks to one hundred ninety-two percent. He's catching Zombo's double jump to get back onto the stage. I thought that Leo was looking for the down, and Zombo was like, "I'm not having any plans." He's of looking this, for an update here. Yeah. I'm not trying to get back on the stage. I'm not trying to get spiked if I'm Zombo. Uh, oh uh, my uh, God! Uh, they are just bodying each other. Zomba gets a late hit near on Leo too. That's gonna set up for 32%. Oh he's no! Alive. He now comes out! The tether! He accepts it! Gonna catch the side beam. Oh. The OP. Excuse me, it's over. Six, six to six! Dude! Every set going the distance! No one could have called this. This is insane. This is this is a silly game, isn't it? This is a silly set. We're just take watching them take turns body each other. When it's Leo's stock, he is dealing like 80% and then occasionally spiking there it is. When it is Zomba's stock, he, he is just killing Leo off the side with side B and just like spiking him with down and like another loop grab attempt. They're just like both explaining each other so 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 well. Okay. Now, once again. This is random stages, so the fact that it's going this close on random neutrals makes it that much more impressive. It speaks to the adaptation of both these players. Leo, of course, played the first half with Aegis, second half much more progress with Byleth, but still nowhere near done. Yeah, like these these two guys were like, yeah, let's make this as interesting as possible. Let's get as much variety as possible. Set the stages to random. Literally, like I, I could. Oh my God, God. I, I legit could not have asked for a better softbox too. This is absolutely incredible. Certainly, a throw will happen in the near future. Advantage of that situation so up. He tossed the juggler off stage and sent Leo just below the ledge. And that's like usually the position where it's like you told, hey, don't double jump him. Hey, don't do anything him. But already, that's going to be Zamba up to two stocks. And talk to us. What just happened? That upbeat was like the absolute farthest possible distance to grab. Uh, and I think it's because like the last second Zamba drifted too far towards it and ended up getting grabbed by it. But it looked funny. Hey. Leo really wants the spare to close the stock. Zombo though spacing just outside of his burst range. Look at the pressure. Leo's just really taking advantage of like Zomba's lack of out of shoot options, especially like from behind him, right? And now he's looking through that up and Zomba just trying to find a way to be able to land him. Now the question is, how does Leo gonna close the stock? And also, well, like that, but I'd also like to point out the, the variety of throws that Leo is going for. He's keeping Zomba guessing if he's going for down throw, up throw, F throw, back throw, whatever, to constantly keep him mixing his DI. Because if Leo guesses right at where Zomba DIs off of any one of these throws, they either turn into a huge amount of damage or a kill. Excellent. Speaking of guessing right on DI leading to a kill, if Zomba was wrong there, he was dead. He was? Oh my god. A huge neutral again. That time around, he keeps on successfully forcing Zamba to double jump. He usually actually also uh, finds a punish on his landing as well. That time around, maybe not so much. Air dodges onto the stage, pops out of down tilt, resets neutral successfully, and now forcing Leo to back off a little tiny bit. And that back would have caught a jump, would have been able to kill if it connected. But now this is just so back and forth. But now that's going to be Leo stuck off stage, stuck at the ledge here. But he fights his way back. Zamba guessing wrong at which side of him that Leo would come out on. Yeah. Gonna be a huge opportunity for either one of them if they manage to take this stock first. Leo has to burn his air dodge early. Still gets back to stage thanks to the tether though. Hasn't regained center. Zomba continuously oh! keeping him walled into the corner. He Great. still got his jump. He should be fine. What a turning point for this set right here. He makes it back to ledge. 158 recovery. Throws him back. Arrow charge. Fakes it out. Gyro drops and bounces. Did Zamba jump out of shield? I swear it sounded oh. like the start of like Zamba's jump spot or something. The up tilt connects, but Gob is a big boy. That's not going to do it quite yet. He's looking to catch the landing. Zamba lands successfully with neutral and he's, uh, he's still struggling with that gyro. He is. He wanted to catch that gyro so bad. Oh my lord. 
He died to Rob Nair. That, it happens. Down throw, up B. No, Zomba flies way too far away to follow with the falling up air. He oh. cannot pick up this gyro, dude. My goodness. He took 44% because he failed to pick up gyro. We've all been there. We can all relate. Leo is like doing so well up until this point, though. He's just been like picking it up and then using it against Zamba consistently. Now, you know, he picks it up. He says, "Okay, I know how to do this thing. I can go the football again." Uh, and uh, yeah, now it's completely back to neutral. But neutral percent wise, it's awesome. And we talked about juggles earlier, Dara. That is a hell of a juggle from Leo to get 80% oh, yeah. on Zamba, but he manages to fall faster than Violet does and get that falling up air to at least reset oh. the situation. Because Leo would have taken for a whole lot more. Gyro on ledge, going to pop him up. Oh he my god. Just oh. far enough. Yeah, Zombo is slightly out of position. Wasn't able to complete with the up tilt. Looks like that same neutral leg again. He forces out the double jump. Zomba has to fade back. He has to go back. Into the upfield. Zomba found the kill confirm. He's going up seven to six. Seven this to six. So like back and forth between the two. We just came off of the first to 10 between Cody and I, I almost said Cody and IVDW, Cody and Zane. That was probably one of the highest level melee sets played in history. I think we might be witnessing, despite it being Wi-Fi, the highest level, most back and forth at the very least, sets in Ultimate. Yeah, it has, it has been basically unpredictable who wins either one. Basically 50-50 every single time. And I think they both three stalked each other, haven't they? So, uh, Leo might not have three stock Zomba yet, but there's certainly three, been a couple of two stocks two, within. One, and now go. it is time to go back to FD. Oh man, this is a tough time for Zomba when it comes to land on the stage. Yeah, Leo's I believe Leo's stage has been so solid. I think 3 0, if not 2 0, on the stage in the set so far, in this matchup. I think he lost one FD game on Aegis, but has won both of the FD games in Violet. Man, I'm so glad we did random stages. It adds such like a layer it does. of, of it does. mystery and fun to this. Variety. It is fun to see like, Ooh! like, on, like such He's alive! I don't know how he's alive. How did that, not kill? that that Just would kill any other player. Maximum distance left coast to right blast zone. Zomba thanking his lucky stars, I know. Plus definitely the fact that Leo's at 6% rage. Weird. But he doesn't make it back anyway. Runs out of fuel. Runs out of fuel, try to do actional air dodge and unless he was down a little bit too low. But now tries to go in on Leo's shield to find a dash attack for himself, but with that dash grab, uh Leo, I mean he has just not been letting Zomba get much out of his Hits. Zamba finally finding a slight combo then finally getting Leo off stage but not. Uh, and I would like to point out Leo mashing up tilt there because in that situation up tilt up B is I'm, I'm pretty sure true on Rob at that percent with that rate. Oh! Uh, not gonna matter in the long run because he is just piling on this percent. And yeah, Dara, our, uh, our theorem continuing to come true. Zamba, if he had bans, would ban FD. Every single day of the week. He would not want to go here at all. But Leo right now getting a little bit, uh, you know, confident with some of those dash attacks on shield. Goes through the lead grab. Zamba doesn't go through the immediate punish just in case Leo had like an up and cooking. Trying to wait out the gyro as oh long as possible. Oh my god. The for the down tilt and into the mist tech down smash. Beautiful stuff. Zamba, he was honed in. He knew that Leo was going to go the way so hard. Ooh, tries to cross up Zomba, get behind him. Maybe set up for a grab back throw, but it ain't gonna matter as after all the down tilts miss, good old reliable dash attack into the corner. Ends up taking the stock away. Leo with yep. a significant lead, trying to even this up to a 7-7, but Zomba gets an up throw fair. Oh, oh, looks for the side B, not gonna hit it. Oh, interesting. Zamba actually went behind Leo. That was pretty good for Zamba, all things considered. He made it back onto the stage. He found a jab lock into the F smash as well. Pokes out a little bit too far off stage, but he's gotten a good amount of damage now. Now the question is, how do you close the Zamba? What's the plan? Can you the move? I mean, yeah, at 94, yeah, you can just stay center stage and do exactly that. Use the gyro against him on his own favor. And there again, gyro, I think he caught it, right? No, he just disappeared. Definitely did. Oh, he did catch it. Hand. Leo's going to be able to get near full hop fair off of that. Okay. Leo didn't expect Zomba's neutral on shield. Maybe he was like thinking that Zomba's gonna go for the defensive option after Zomba 
full intent on playing as aggressive as possible. New trailer is up tilt into the up is as well. He got the stock off 70, 86%. Definitely not too bad. He can easily make this up, especially if he knocks Leo off stage like that. Went through that double jump point just in case Leo went through a bad double jump. But Leo is so good at switching up the position against Zamba. Every time Zamba has had Leo off stage, I have seen Leo just completely switch the tides. Zamba going really high, but that's going to burn a lot of resources on his way back to stage. Gonna work out for him. He gets back to stage safely. He does not want to. You do not want to go down. Eight six here. And is that it? He'll di a little too far in stage. Not without rage. Rob has some weight. Gyro into. Ooh, careful! I oh think my God! I think the gyro was detrimental there. Leo definitely wanted to continue throwing aerials and eftel because he had the gyro. In oh! Hand. He had to use the animation to get it out. Oh, the so grab is huge. Four throws. Goes he way to go low. Oh now, my! Look at something doesn't get the anti on the zomba. Knocks Leo all the way to the other side. What? What, what just happened? I don't know. I think he tossed gyro up and it clanked with Zomba's dare. Praying for the Zombear. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. down smash read! That won't do it! Oh! 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 And he's oh! Dead. He's dead. What a reversal oh! from K Leo to Clip fight it! the evening Clip game it! seven no. seven. <laughs> the GOAT! Clip that shit! Every single oh! one of these endings to these games has been at least like somewhere between like five and ten on a scale of how ridiculous it is. There was like a couple of moments where that should have been Leo's game. The fact that Zomba's down smash didn't kill from the other side. And then Leo took it off of like the bounce on the ground up B into up in. That is absurd. I it it's impossible to put into words. How much better his bioth is than everybody else's. <laughs> that was bizarre, dude. If I'm Zamba, I would, I'd be actually pretty mad my down smash didn't kill. I was a hard read that Leo was either gonna like spot dodge or goal hit. Right? Like he was he was so confident in that down smash, and alas it didn't kill. All of that worked for nothing. And now it is seven to seven. We, we have already had one team game. Nine thousand viewers. Yeah, the, the craziest thing for sure is that they had both had multiple moments like that throughout just that last game. We're like, oh crap, that didn't kill. Oh crap, that didn't kill. Back to neutral. Got to scramble. Got to find a way to take control of the stage. And in the end, even though it was just by a tiny, tiny bit, Leo came out on top on that FD game. Continued his win streak on that stage and brought himself back to even in the overall scoreline of this set. Now it's just the best of five, Dara Hbox. Yep. Next three wins win. As close as you can possibly ask for. Okay, looking through the foyer to try to cover the platform. Zamba landed a little bit later than Leo had anticipated. Laser Foyer is out the early dodge and almost snipes him with Gyro. But Zamba committed. Bro. Committed off stage. Leo said, What are you doing? Get out of here. You're done. Oh, so, so incredible by Leo, but. Incredible by Zamba right back. Neither one of these guys will ever let the other take a leg up. Which is how they both roll. Okay, the Jago is still able to actually catch just the very last leg of Violet's neutral get-up animation. Forcing out the double wait, 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 wait. No jump. jump, no jump. jump. Oh! That gyro so far this set has definitely been like, I can be your angle or your devil for Leo because it's been either the bane of his existence or a source of huge damage for him. Oh, yeah. Actually, Attack roll out wow. right by Zomba. Okay, yeah. still again the Jago keeps on catching Leo's neutral hit animations. Oh my god. Had it on lock. He was so good at follow up off of it. He found the kill and now Zomba only had 47%. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. That conversion was dirty. That was just so like planned in advance. You could tell me that these are the two best players in the world right now, and I would believe you. Flight, Sonics, Akola, Spargo, who cares? Because right now, this is some of the highest level Smash Ultimate I've ever seen. And it's still very unclear who will even be taking this game, let alone the
the set as Leo finds another up smash in the corner of town and city. Yeah, that was a huge up smash. That covers basically every single option, right? You still get a jump as well. It's an option that Zombo wasn't ready for, so he preemptively pressed the button and ended up landing right into MK Leo's clutches. And now it is last stock apiece. Game number 15 between these two. Oh! And Leo that was. That's sweet spot would have killed? No, that was sweet spot. That almost killed at oh. 20%. Gov is just that heavy. He's just that heavy that he is able to live that. But Leo had the right idea. He's still pushing his advantage now. He's looking for that down tilt, maybe into like a back hill or something. He gets that trade, and, and Zomba just needs to land. He needs to find a way now. There's no way Chad is molding that I didn't mention every single one of their favorite players. Oh! My three second oh! As Leo finds an up air off the top and takes the lead in the set, I believe the first time in a while. Everyone, we are inching closer and closer to 10,000 viewers. If everyone sends a link or shares it, we might hit it. I don't think I'll have another chance to hit it at all this year, but if we do, that will be amazing. My goodness. A once-in-a-lifetime set for a once-in-a-lifetime stream. You might be able to catch the VOD later, but let's be real. There's nothing like seeing it live. The live is just too good, man. Oh. This is a fun set. I'm actually really happy to be here. This is this is a good time. Of course. Um, okay. Going into this next game, we gotta figure out what's happening. I feel like I've, I've never seen like positioning and advantage like switch so much between two players as I have these two. They're both very keen to commit off stage, especially Zamba. But I feel like especially in the last couple of games, Zamba's been getting punished heavily for it. Right? Because like off stage for some of the spikes. Oh. Nice that as well. Oh my god. Zamba still has to get back up on stage versus Leo. He does it though with a very good falling there. Leo rolls back up on stage, gets caught, and now it's Zamba's Ooh. turn in the advantage stage. Alright, was Zamba's punish gonna be here? Ah, the multi jab, very last hitbox. Still able to Oh Zamba, man. The neutral beat you pushed a button. Slammed it again. Oh my you know, it, it is actually fitting that finally, after the amount of times that Zomba has sniped Leo in this set, Leo deserves one. He gets one. He earned it, I think. Guys, I am not doing Club Finals versus Luigi. You have any idea how fast I get, like, 90 <laughs> stocks? <laughs> Going at it again. The gyro comes through. Again, I'll remind everyone, ads are automatic. I don't know when they play. If they play game 19 last stock and you miss it, it's tough. The skill issue, but I warned you. Ad blocker sub. I'm warning you now. Nairs again. There. Actually Ooh. connecting while Zombo tries to get the laser out, but Zombo's able to reverse. This is exactly what Dara was talking about. Positioning and advantage, swapping in the blink of an eye. Neither one player able to hold on to it for longer than a moment. And Zombo does find a huge after that. He goes for the laser. He's oh. the laser. Oh. Samba gets punished for that overcommitment off stage again and again and again. You saw the amount of times that Leo tried to up these spikes up, but he finally got it. And now Leo, though, at this point, he doesn't have. He's still Actually, at his he job. Does have, he does have. He does have. I thought he didn't have it. Oh my word. A rainy day. Okay, now Foyson to use up his double jump. Love that side view, right? Just Foyson Zombo to sit in shield with. He acted it out of shield. He successfully called her out. Leo made it back on. Goes in with that dash attack. Oh, oh what? And Leo commits <laughs> to that spike. He wanted it so bad, he landed it. With no hesitation. Okay. One of the worst sure. oh. I've ever seen. In one of the worst situations for it to possibly happen. Zombo going to be kicking himself maybe for years to come for that This one. This well, could be it. A neutral air dodge. What was I, the jump air dodge out of shoot? I I'm gonna just for my own sanity assume that it was a mistake because otherwise I don't know what he was cooking But let's talk about Dara. You even mentioned it very briefly the fact that Leo Instantaneously reacted to that and like you said no hesitation committed to the goddamn bit Bro, and, and that was not a bit that Zombo was expecting He wasn't expecting Leo just to run out there and just go for an immediate spike like that right? That is why he got hit by it and oh my god now all of a sudden we're going to game number what is it, 17. Leo on the verge of taking the whole thousand this, dollar money match. It, it could be it. It could be it. This could be the last match of the entire night. Well, 
Last of the set. We have one more bonus set after this. Could be it. Gets back up on stage with the get up attack then rising there. Connects to allow Leo to take the percent lead. But Zamba gets another tech chase and a side B for damage. I like the option because it's going to put Leo off stage where Zamba has thrived. Oh! Zamba gets punished off stage yet again. Is he going to lose his stock for that kind of commitment? He's going all oh. the way to the other oh. side and just barely missing his fight. Great air dodge. let Zamba back on. Holy crap. Oh, laser again? Okay. I think we just have to stop entirely. Zombie! Because of that, we can't talk about leads in this set because they don't actually exist. They are a myth, they are fake, and they are never true. And they are never that real. was the game 17 mix-up. That only happens after you play 16 games against one another in rapid succession that you can do something like that. Oh. That was, that was absurd. Oh my god. Where the zombie says chat, and I agree. It's like he remembered how to beat him. He remembered exactly how what Leo's weaknesses are. Hit oh. back on the Z stick. Yeah, <laughs> don't approach. <laughs> okay, Leo now oh. just got off the second dodge. Like the fact that Zomba went off stage really right so Leo can find that swing of down tilt. Finally able to snipe him with that neutral beat as well yet again. Jilo in hand doesn't pick it back up. And now this is going to be a big grab for Zomba. And he just prioritizes stage control. Goes through the edge guard. But that swing saved Leo. The swing to the left. The momentum of Violet's upbeat. Just barely nudged him away from that Jilo. It that was so close. Is the legend of game 17 Zomba true? It might be! Oh my god. That's a lot of missed techs. Leo is missing a significant amount of these techs. And Zomba is getting so much off of these jab blocks. He is either finding kills or reporting the damage each time. Okay. Laser. Okay, the Battle of the Nairs continues. Keep popping Zomba up. This time oh! he's jumpless too. Leo tries for the falling back air, but Zomba is barely able to Oh, end. set point! And hold, hold, hold! hold. fucking matter! Ah! Wait, what? Hold on! Play almost got the spike with the most anticlimactic way imaginable. Finds a down tilt, finds a couple of neutral legs, looks through the up and maybe start a juggle going, and Zomba fights his way out of disadvantage. Again, oh sh Oh! Oh! Zomba! Looking this for the could answer. Be the end of the entire set if Zomba doesn't play some of the best goddamn Smash Bros oh, of his life. Leo, his shield starting to shrink, retreats into the corner. Oh no! He goes high! Zombie not connecting! The there. Connect. Oh my god. Gyro doing some work. They both trade projectiles! Oh, the gyro eating the uh, arrow this time oh around. And eating the back air. Just keeping Zombie. Oh! Well, this time Leo catches it with the fair. Puts some onto the platform and tries for the down tilt that might close it all out. Zombie! Oh what the fuck? Oh! Oh, Leo! The reset off of another nair once Zamba drops shield, catches him air dodging. Oh! Oh! Awful DI! Awful DI! From Zamba! Leo wins! He's going to hand Leo the set. He takes it all. $1,000, 10 to 7, and proving that his bile still fucking got it. Let's fucking go! MK Leo! As we just crest towards 10k viewers. Oh. That pilot is no joke, man. My god. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to look at that. I Say wish it. we did have the ability to look at that last game again. Do you know the amount of times that, like, Leo just, like, caught one of Zomba's jumps? The amount of times that he successfully called out Lazy and Jilo from Zomba? He was, like, constantly in Zomba's face. Uh, and, and wow. stopping him from actually creating space. Leo, hello. Congrats on winning $1,000. <laughs> How do you feel? Winning $1,000 always feels good. Nice. Leo. Listen to him. He he's so <laughs> nonchalant, he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. He's right here. Leo, 10K viewers. Holy fuck. Oh, thank you so much, GG, guys. GG, GG. Yo. You don't play bad, though, you know? Please. <laughs> Screenshot the 10k. Leo, you're a thousand dollars richer. You've proved the doubters wrong. How are you feeling today? Uh, good. I had to believe in the violet, bro. 
What when he did, <laughs> shut up, man. Dude, I wanted the run back. Dude, you know me. I wanted the run back for us. That's why I, I, I was did. doing it. But then I was like, dude, it's a thousand fucking dollars. I gotta charge. Yeah. I gotta charge my own. We have no, been telling you. Mean, you got kind of lucky there. I'll be for real. Cause like, if I was actually trying, I would want me. Holy fuck. <laughs> Right, let's calm down, Zombo. Look, all right, all right. The pocket vivid, uh, uh, vivid would have won. On some like, real talk. Game and watch and you would have gotten far. We have... It would have done better than a fucking 90-10 ass matchup. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Which matchup oh. is the 90-10? Is it the Aegis or the Rob? No. Rob is not 90-10. You are... So what is, what is that big... Huffing the copium. 95-5? Aegis Rob is low-key in 85-15. But I could see it being a. Uh... You just say numbers, Zamba. <laughs> uh, I mean, out I of context, like this entire conversation will make like any FGC head explode if they heard <laughs> like eighty-five fifteen. Yeah. Oh jeez. I mean, nah, I was shocked there. I mean, I was surprised he didn't go to Marf or the Greninja. <laughs> but well, look. Leo Look. Congratulations on your win of $1,000 in the run back versus Zomba. I'm sure you'll want to be playing it again offline in bracket versus him at crown if Hopefully. the opportunity presents itself. But uh, you mentioned a little bit earlier that you wanted to, to use this there set for a little bit of content. Why don't you tell the good, uh, ridiculous number of people in chat where they can find that content when it gets posted? Ooh. On my YouTube channel, MK Leo and Fresh God, MK Leo SSB. Nice. Speaking of fresh cut, wow. we, we do have the clip contest tomorrow, so you still have uh, tonight to upload clips if you want for five hundred dollars. We're doing best clip wins five hundred bucks tomorrow here on the stream, so the you have more on top. And Leo, you could win that too if you upload some clips, because I know you've got some nasty. Even from this exhibition tonight, you've gotten some pretty I nasty stuff. Yeah, some of the clips okay. I got tonight. You only got like one down there. <laughs> Nothing really that special. Uh, <laughs> Leo, you know. After these recent tournaments, you seem to have found, I don't know, I know it's a new confidence in your play today. Do you have anything to say to the people who are calling you things like, what is this, Mickey Leo? Like Zamba was, or Yeah, yeah he would do that. That would be kind of fucked up to make fun of some of the goats. Zamba, hush. Leo, what words do you have? I don't, I don't really care. I was, I think I'm more sad because of the fact that I kind of win with the character I won, but I You're think I don't care about it. You're sad that you won with Byleth for not Aegis? I mean, I want to win no matter what, but if I do with Aegis, it feels a little better because it's the character I enjoy playing the most. But, but nah, I, I don't give a shit. I feel that, dude. I feel that. 